Hi, everybody. <laughs> Don't think we were muted during that entire time. So that'll be well, oh, that'll be whoops. edited out, most likely. It's a long, oh. long way to Ba Sing Say. And Speaking. the girls in the city, they look so pretty. 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 Speaking of <laughs> how to kill your players. Um, no, it's a joke. Uh, we have some announcements before we begin. Uh, thank you, first off, for everyone who came and watched our season finale of Soldiers of the Lich Queen. It was very nice, and I appreciate it. So thank you. I had a lot of fun causing my players emo emotional turmoil that they sit on for two months. And wizards are the best class. I can say that for certain. Um, I'm excited. Um, also, speaking of Sundays, this coming Sunday, uh, we will not be streaming anything. We will be streaming a re pre recorded one shot we recorded on Monday called The Mage's Tower. And that is ran by Kirkland, one of the cast members of Soldiers of the Lich Queen and Call of Cthulhu, the Nightmare Society. And they did a, they did a great job with that mm -hmm. one shot. Uh, I think it went to like, we were like recording to like three in the morning for me. Um, maybe a little later, actually, like almost four. Mm -hmm. um, we started at like oh, 12. What, what would that be? Yeah, we started at like midnight. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. And did we or did we not dress up? You'll have to come find out. Well, if you saw my Thirst Trap RPG oh. post on Twitter, then you know that I definitely did. We dressed up. My costume is the worst, so it's great. Um, uh, it's amazing. If it's if it's your if it's your character perfectly, what are you talking about? Um, so come watch us all play 15th level characters as we go into a mage's tower. Who knows how many parts it's going to be? Um, no call of Cthulhu this Sunday, obviously, because I will not be there. That's why we're streaming the one shot. And Sam and I and Kirkland from Solar Zone Screen were working on doing something in the meantime. Uh, for like September and October during our season break for Soldiers of the Lich Queen so watch this space I guess um, again no Thursday games yet until we start Rhyme of the Frostmaiden which I'm hoping is like September 24th around there somewhere so I gotta do get some casting stuff organized um, what else I don't know. Thank you to the people who made me have forty dollars buying my Ravenloft adventure. That's real nice. So yeah. thanks to that. Um, and that's only like what ten sales. So either way, thanks so much or something like that. But uh, thank you so much to everyone who's kind of purchased the adventure. And if you like Ravenloft, please check it out. Support me, so I don't have to go back to the shitty restaurant industry because that'd be really cool. Um, because I don't want to serve people right now and cook food for people right now during a pandemic. Um, <laughs> so thanks everyone. Um, I can't really think of anything else. Sam, you want to say anything? Want to talk about anything? Sure, I'll commit myself to working on demystifying DMing again. Uh, I had an idea for. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm working on. I don't want to just be like. I had an idea. Uh, I'm working on another episode of demystifying DMing. Uh. Inspired by Sunday, because I was like, "Hey, maybe I maybe I am actually good enough at this to to talk about the subject." Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I haven't come up with a snappy title yet, but it is about basically uh, engaging your character, engaging your players' individual storylines, not just about managing an overarching plot for the whole party, but uh, giving everybody their own little individual arcs and storylines to pursue, and how to engage that and also manage that throughout a campaign. And how thematic is that for what I have planned for tonight? Um, I think that's all we have time for with announcements. Unless anyone else wants to shout anything out real quick. Banana hammock. I'm wearing. I have right. an Etsy store. Yeah, check it out. What's the URL? Yeah. Uh, Kate Crafts. Uh, Etsy. dot com slash shop slash Kate Craft Studio US. Yeah, we put that in the chat. Yeah. Um. Uh, I have. Uh, mini dice bags, custom dice bags that you can order, and a bunch of cute little plushies as well. Sweet! Yeah. Yeah, so if you guys ever want to shout something out, this is the time to do it. I will allow it. Um, so check that out. Kate's awesome. Support Kate. Support Kate. <laughs> support, I deserve it. Support all okay. of us, please. <laughs> yeah. During these times. Um, uh, and 
and I will post the link in the uh, in the chat. <laughs> cool. So, without further ado, speaking of stone, uh, last we left off, you all fought an abolith beholder hybrid known as the Mother of Irons and her two beholder children. The fight went long and tough and just to you know for the sake of time and everything because recaps can be pretty hard to do sometimes and time consuming essentially fought the beholder you killed her children relatively quickly minus the death kiss who kept draining ash and grom for their blood but that child is eventually dealt with uh, the other child, which was a goth, goth, uh, that had the capability... Just a goth kid. Just a goth kid floating around. <laughs> uh, that kind of beholder had the capability of draining the properties of magic items. But, find it. You can find that monster in Volo's Guide to Monsters. Or Morning Canons. Either way, that creature died so quickly, it never got a chance to do that. Which is fine. Um, but eventually the Mother of Irons was slaughtered. But not before petrifying Baxter and sinking him to the bottom of this 90 foot deep lake. And as she died, the strange rift opened up and pulled people through. Eventually, the party decided to follow, not before Ash opened up the portable hole and stuffed Baxter's statuesque body inside. And also leapt through the portal. A portal containing writhing tentacles and just strange purple space. You could say it looked like it was far away somewhere. And that's where we're going to pick up. You all coming through this portal. It feels like a hook hooking you under the navel and kind of just pulling you along. As you get oh. sucked through this wormhole. You can feel almost like reality is bending around you. And you're maybe changing, but you're not changing at the same time. You can see numerous planes of existence as you're getting pulled through this wormhole you can see like oh that's a chunk of the Feywild there oh that's a chunk of the Shadowfell that's the Nine Hells don't know what that is but there's a lot of gears and little clockwork people running around Oof. yes and the rowers keep on rowing and they're certainly not showing also <laughs> please check out Fizzleblim's Sugarland on DM's <laughs> Guild it's a dollar uh, that's my Willy Wonka inspired adventure um, it's very fun to play thank you but eventually you all land on this beach surrounded by mist and you hear a wet <laughs> as whatever remains of the mother of irons lands on the beach beside you still breathing but in the fog ahead you see a figure kind of just staring at you all and slowly approaching can't make out any details but they're approaching Peel the skin, scrape the fat, eat the meat, yes, the crack the bone. <laughs> For those of us who were cursed to only breathe in water, can we still only breathe in water? Oh god, that's right. Because <laughs> yes. I'm pretty sure it was me and Noose yeah, you guys for so, two you guys hours. Like, yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure everybody was. No, right? Except oh, no. Leah. Everyone, I wasn't. Oh. It was just Neither of my characters yeah, were. Just Noose and Eclipse. Oh, just you two. Okay. So you guys were uh, you guys like, one... right now. Like, ugh. A Ash will Ash will take the portable hole and lay it out on the ground because the last time he opened it was it's, it's full in, of water. Yeah, it's full of water. Just all right. Get in the kitty pool. In the kitty pool. <laughs> in the kitty pool. Right. Is Leah oh, still a shark? Uh, Leah is still a shark, kind of flopping around on the beach. <laughs> Turn back. She I got polymorphed. polymorphed. Oh. <laughs> is I knew still a shark? Oh yeah, Noose would still be oh, a yeah. shark too. Uh, yeah. So these two sharks just like flopping around on the beach. Grab them by their tails and drag them over towards yeah. the river. Okay. Uh, Dunk their heads in. The figure their gills. Does, yeah, so you can see the Mother of Irons, the remains of her body are still breathing, but she's not in one whole piece. She's goo, but she's breathing still. Uh, and there's a figure approaching in the mist. You can look around. It looks like there's a city hidden in this mist on this beach. And you can see numerous kind of figures milling about in the fog. Uh, Where are we? We'll have to go slander and inspect. Yeah, you just see more. You see buildings like they—they they look like they're made from like driftwood and whatever materials they could find around this beach. And it's a massive city. You'd estimate Ogden Boone with your big brain that this city probably has a population of thirty-two thousand. 
Oh, that's a big D and D city. And there's a sign nearby that says Solstice. For simplicity's sake, Noose is going to just drop concentration. On oh that. Okay. Yeah. So, Leah, you're in the portable hole. Eclipse and Noose, you have to breathe it underwater. Uh, yeah. And the figure does keep approaching, and they're holding like a staff. They're kind of like a small hunched. They're not small. They're maybe like five feet or so, five foot five, and they're hunched over. And they're just walking through the mist towards you all slowly. I'm gonna. Leah's gonna get out of the portable hole and like crawl out. Okay. <laughs> Both of you are swimming around with Baxter just sitting at the bottom of the portable hole, just mm -hmm. like a statue. <laughs> um, uh, hail and well met. Oh, hail and well met, Mr. Boone. And stepping out of the mist, you see a turtle, about five foot five, albino skin covered in tattoos, holding a very druidic looking staff, and he goes wearing a loincloth only I haven't seen you all in quite some time oh, I'm there's, right. a, there's a new face oh, there's a few new faces among you this time I remember I had a bone to pick with you last time, Papa Bondi oh, yes is Noose around? yeah, he's, uh, he's somewhere around here, he's getting a drink Oh, good, good, good. Ah, uh, he looks over at the, the aberrant goo still breathing. Well, that's not right. Um, come, 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 get inside. Heal up. You don't look so great either, any of you. And he turns, starts like waddling into the into the city. Do you, have a, do you have a couple buckets? Oh, he wanders over. What seems to be the problem? Yeah, a couple. Uh crewmates who can't breathe air. News has the fishbowl. Oh, and he, he just, just kind of <laughs> he casts greater restoration on both Leah or on Eclipse and News, so you guys can breathe normal air again. On Leah and News. <laughs> oh, you Eclipse. <laughs> yes, you both can like finally breathe air again. He's like, does that feel better? Yeah. Hello, News. I... <sighs> Hello. Long time. It's a very long time. It's been three years, but for me, it's been longer. This place kind of does things. Come, I assume you all have questions and things you want answered. Yeah, I thought you were dead. I am dead. Come, this way. I mean, like, dead again. I dead, am? Dead, dead, dead. dead. I, like, am. I am. Morning, choice, dead, dead. I am. This way. And he turns, <laughs> to, and he turns and starts walking into the city. This I is swear. the morning shores. Ah! Oh, there it is. But, oh, we there made it. It but is. this place is safe. It's for people who have lost their way. And he just walks into the city. Towards like a little hut that's nearby, kind of on the banks of the beach. He's walking towards a hut that looks very similar to the hut he had on Bleak Skull. Oh. <laughs> okay. So are we dead? Uh, no. You're actually the only living souls here in Solstice. And he opens oh. the hut, and for a figure who's dead, that you expect to be maybe a ghost or something, he's not incorporeal. He's like able to touch things, and he's not phasing through anything. And he sits down at a table and starts pouring tea. Well, could I interest you all in tea? If we drink it, do we have to stay here forever? No, no, you're not dead. Oh. Just wanted to be sure we covered all our uh, bases. This tea is my own brew. It should revitalize all of you. Think of it as a Great. jolt to the heart. It's a, po it's a well, it's a potion, but it's a tea in tea form. <laughs> Yeah, right there, right? Yeah, right. I mean, anyone, already finishes his. <laughs> anyone who drinks the tea gains the benefits of a long rest. Woo! Yeah, I'll also drink. Okay. I'll drink to that. And Papa Bindi pulls up a chair and sits down and goes, well, I think out of everyone here, the last two I spoke to was Mr. Boone and Noose. I had a, I had a lot of kelp rum that night. A uh, lot of kelp rum. I was feeling real, I was real full of beans. I night. get it, I get it. Real full of beans. I assume some of you may have questions for me about where you are, why you're here. 
what you're looking for. I can guarantee you'll be quite happy that I brought you here. You Wait, you brought us here? Yes. So I mean, then... I'm... I can send you, you. I can send you back whenever you choose. Did I just you... figured a conversation might be a good idea. Uh, had you intended to bring the mother of mm, iron and what? As no, well? she sort of just hitched along for the ride. Your timing was impeccable, then. Yes, I believe she was the one who was tormenting my island for quite some time. Well, long ago, I mean, when I found you, Noose. Either way. Do any of you have anything you'd like to know about this place, where you are, why you're here? Uh, do you happen to know where the Mantle of Morning is? I know where every artifact you're looking for currently is. The Mantle Good of know. Morning... It was created here in the Morning Shores, but it does not reside here any longer. Oh, what the... It resides in the wreck of the Flying Dutchman, off the coast of Dawnbreak Cove. I mean, we could have... we were so close to it this whole time. You were. The individual who told you the locations of them before was lying, that fiend. Velturik. Fucking Pipshin. Can never trust him. Well, Pipshin, oh, Pipshin didn't tell you the location of them. Only no, that was uh, the that was the devil. Oh, was the oh that was right. Velturik, right. yeah. Yes, news. What? what is it? So then, is there anything we want here? Oh, I'm certain there is for each of you. He smiles I a mean... little bit. Ish, didn't uh, uh, Pipchin say that your friend was here? Ah, Dustin. Uh huh. Yeah, that guy. So, just to sort of iterate what's going on here, this place serves as a sort of purgatory currently. Anyone who has died in the last 30 years or more has been trapped here, unable to move on into their afterlife. Well, the strange thing is, any year, a year in the material, or no, a day in the material plane is a year over here. So, technically, you could say I've been here for 822 years, even though I've only been dead for three years in the material plane. I figured each of you might have an individual you might want to seek out in this city. That has died within the last 30 years. I may have a few names I want to check off my list. Noose, there is someone here you will most likely want to see. Um. Alright. Leah, there is someone here for you and for Mr. Lofferton, unfortunately, I don't know many. None of your loved ones are here, if that makes you feel any better. I also don't have a terribly large amount of loved ones, or people who love me, so that makes perfect sense. Mr. Monsoza, there is a healthy amount of people here attached to you. Oh, yeah, uh, how many of them do I want to see, though, is the real question. Oh, I'm sure you want to see them. All of them, really? Well, I suppose the, a lot of the bad ones I do have just kind of following me around, ain't that right, Dad? doesn't appear. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, speaking of which, I didn't need to waste that greater restoration. Diseases do not work here. Uh oh. So we were just holding our breath that whole time. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I love you it. must have had yeah. a case, a case <laughs> of <laughs> phantom like, kill. Oh, up a bunch of water. <laughs> what, what is that, Mr. Boone? Oh, I was saying they had, a, they had a case of the Phantom Gill. You still think you're breathing water, but you're not. I don't know what that is. 
Oh, uh, it's a, it's a it's a old it's a it's a Silgarian. Oh, they teach you that yes. they teach you that in yes. level one wizard training. You gotta what? know when to cast and uncast things. Mm. I go. I have. I I could go. I built this settlement when I first arrived here. So I was eight hundred and twenty-two years ago, but three years ago, for the material played. There is a mythal protecting the city, so the creatures that roam the morning shores cannot enter this place. That includes the fiends, aberrations, and other sorts that roam the shores. What about those of us that still have dingleberries? Henry is fine. Yeah, I was gonna ask. I wonder how that fusion is going. Henry is completely fine here. Um... Um, what about your Carnifex. friend, Henry? Yeah. Carnifex will be most likely fine here. Oh, okay. I don't know how I feel about that most likely part. <laughs> <laughs> That's the joys of things. Um, you have worse thoughts uh, against you, Carnifex. What? You've had worse thoughts against you. True, I just am concerned because he said Henry will be fine, but he said I'll probably be fine. I noticed the difference there. <laughs> Uh, do doesn't you, really take a lawyer to see those words. Do you play wish out to know where the other artifacts are in case you ever find yourselves in the material plane again? Oh yeah. If, if we ever to know where they actually are. I'm I'm concerned about the doubt there, especially since you said you could send us back. Oh, I could send you back, but I assume you want to get your crew and say goodbye to Miss Boone and take your ship. Oh, yes. But, all right. Fair enough. Yes. <laughs> and he. You would remember he's very blind, but he's looking at each of you as if he can see. Um, well, the crown of Lolth, from what my gestures to the table where a bunch of like skulls are, like bird skulls and rat skulls and weird mushrooms. Um, the Remnant Museum on Cala de Cuervos. If you do not know, the Remnant Museum is a museum that contains artifacts and histories from the battle on the subcontinent of Old Anundil, where the World Breakers fought Asmodeus. Museums? Yes, a museum that contains many powerful artifacts and histories on an island, of the world. On an island uh, seemingly inhabited by vampires. Well, only three vampires, but yes. Well, it's still inhabited. That's true. And you all are pirates, so it's a good place to go. It's a crime syndicate of a city. So. Henry, I believe you're from there. Yes, yes, I am. Uh, the, the, thank you for mentioning. It's not exactly a welcoming place for me right now. You'll be fine. Are you sure about that? That would be very comforting to hear, honestly. I have the gift of foresight. Forsyth? Isn't that what... Fors isn't that what for foresight. Oh, oh, oh. I can see into futures. And the future I've seen for all of you does not appear grim yet. It depends on the choices you make here on out. I've told you where the mantle of mourning lies off of Dawnbreak Cove. How fitting. And as you all know, these artifacts bind would bind you as the champion of that god. For a moment. It's not permanent. It's more of a means to an end. The artifacts that need to be powered as ordered by each deity that created them, and then once they are powered, they have to be destroyed in Asmodeus's flying city. Right. He is just like looking at her staff, just kind of like, oh. Now I see that you have <laughs> two of them already. But they haven't been powered. Not yet, no. Okay. He says, I see you have two already. Runoman, the staff, and Calamitous, the ring. Oh yeah, guys, did you see I got, I got this? Yeah, how's that working for you? Is it Has it done anything cool yet? Um... Nah. <laughs> um, so, the, if the crown of Lolth would bind you to Lolth herself, you'd be her champion, the queen of spiders. Um... Obviously, the Mantle of Mourning is the artifact of the Sunken Lord, so you'd be bound to the Sunken Lord in a sense. 
And I think it's fitting that one of you... Where's that? Doesn't really look at anybody specific. Then uh, there Eclipse is... is gonna glance to Ash. <laughs> I think everybody's just looking at Ash. <laughs> then, there's, <laughs> then there's Bahamut's Bane. One of Tiamat's teeth turned into a dagger made to kill her brother, Bahamut. But he well, is I since, know, that one. That one's mine. He has since uh, disappeared a long time ago. Yeah, that, I'm gonna get that one. There are rumors he's still out there, and his most devout worshippers know where to find him. <coughs> hint, T hint, hint, Tiamat? Hint. Bahamut. Bahamut. So okay. he said, so there's Bahamut's Bane. Okay. It's a dagger made with one of Tiamat's teeth. She built this dagger intended to kill her brother Bahamut, but he fled and disappeared. So, would that make you a champion of Bahamut or Tiamat? Tiamat. She was a world right. breaker. These are artifacts of the world breakers. Good. Bahamut was not a world breaker. Cool. He was one of the good ones before he disappeared. Cool. He disappeared. Real quick. Mm, yes. I was going to say, if I remember, seem to remember that the mantle of mourning belongs to the Sunken Lord? Correct. Isn't the Sunken Lord dead, though? Well, his mortal form is. Oh, I see, alright. The gods cannot be so easily killed, not even by another god wishing them dead. Their essence will still return to where they belong. As such, he gestures to around like this whole place, he has returned to his domain, the Morning Shores. Do we think he's going to be pissed at us for trying to spend, like, a good chunk of time trying to kill him? He has more important things on his mind, so just stop yeah, him as mean, is. You did well, kind of, You did kind of set him free, right? Well, that's true. Maybe he'll like us. Yeah, maybe. Um, oh, uh, him and his tentacly glory. I will be more- I'd be more worried about his disciple that remains here on the Morning Shores as well. Descend hey. roll. Oh, oh right. Asshole? Yeah, he's here. Jeez. Oh my, let's kill him again. Well, we got like a match. We'll just burn the book again. Well, that's where we're we're thinking the curse is coming from. But again, no one wants to go fight him. But again, it's not mandatory. Um, Bahamut's bane. It's not mandatory. It's optional. You can go. Bahamut's bane lies with her old champion. In old Newport, inside an ancient temple in the jungle. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, a temple you all stump. A temple. A temple. Some of you stumbled upon, but never went inside. <laughs> Which temple was that? Uh, it was the one that was booby trapped and had the obelisk yeah. out front, and you guys kept touching the yeah. obelisk, and demons were popping out. <laughs> oh yeah. But we're we like, just said, mm, fuck it. This is said, too much. Yeah, you just said, fuck it. Like that. We're gonna. And you went to the Tarasque Tavern. Um, we were so close to everything. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, what else is there? That's. Yeah, those are the last three artifacts, because you already have two, so. Mm -hmm. um, and he says, yeah, they have to be powered by the gods. The go Each of these gods should give you a task on how to power the item. He looks at Nuis, and I believe you've been given your task for the Calamitous. I forgot it. <laughs> oh. You have to retrieve- Yeah, it turns out, turns out Pepsin isn't a god. Oh, of course he isn't. What do you mean? He's just a lesser deity. He's not part of the Pantheon. So, whose champion is News? Well, with the ring, he'd be Atropal's champion. The world born dead. That, is it the moon? Yeah, a massive living moon, yes. The detritus that is cast off of this moon is what makes Atropal's. Giant, un uh, giant undead fetuses, essentially. Well, oh, wait. Gross. Buddies? Pals? Pals? What? Yeah. Atro... Wait, what? Atropus, <laughs> the living moon, or the world-born dead known by some, is a giant living moon filled with amniotic-filled craters. Hence the amni amniotic fluid that drips from that ring. He, the detritus that falls off of the planet, it smells like amniotic fluid. New smells it. And he's just like, hmm. And he like, gets it in his fingers, like, squirrels around. Hmm. 
and the detritus that falls off of Atropal is said... Atropus is said to what makes Atropals massive undead babies, essentially. Who knows? Maybe you should start making moon pies instead of cream pies. Guys, I found out where babies come from. <laughs> right. Um, and then, yes, Bahamut's Bane <laughs> lies buried in a temple with Tiamat's champion, well, old champion. Uh, and then the Crown of Lolth, uh, as I mentioned, is currently in a museum on Cala de Cuervos. Belongs in a museum. The artifacts need to be... So do you! <laughs> Once the artifacts are powered, they have to be taken into Asmodeus' flying city of Malshim and thrown into a rift. This will render him mortal and capable of being killed for good. Well, so we don't get to use them. We just Oh, you we, do! We just... Oh, all right. We just gotta go get them again? They will help you in your journey when they're powered. Oh, all right. But, like, when we actually get to Asmodeus, we gotta give them up. Essentially. All right. They're not meant to be on this mortal plane. Yeah, I see. All right. Toss them into a mystical river. Well, more of a rift that destroys all matter that passes through it, but yes. Yeah. Why I... does he have that? What's the best way to deal with people who wrong you? Throw them inside of it. I Hydraulic grass. It wipes anything that passes through it out of existence. Think of it as never having existed in the first place. If you fell through, all memory of you would be wiped from the cosmos. So we grab Asmodeus and we shove him into it. Alright, new plan. You can try that. Where's a grapple bad when you need him? Um, <laughs> Baxter's like, mm, where's he buried? Oh, wait, no, Baxter's <laughs> like... Baxter's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you want me to fix Oh, yeah, can you fix that? By the... Oh, yeah, actually, no. I'll open up the bag and set it on the floor and point at the bottom. Can you fix him, by the way? I totally water forgot to Water floods out. No, no, it's, it stays level. It's just like a, it's just oh, like right. there's a pool of water on the he floor. Used up his, he used up all his yeah. spell slots already. <laughs> oh, well. There's two. Uh, no, no, he saved one. Cause... Nah. No, oh. I don't think I can. I mean, news. We maybe, had a long rest. Do you maybe, have spell slots maybe, back? Maybe come back when we leave. When you choose on leaving, and I could do something. All right. For now, it seems like maneuvering this place would be easier if there were less of you. If that makes sense, you know. It seems like each of you are being controlled by two minds, or you know what I mean. <laughs> Either way. Um. Hmm. Well, if we're if we're going to be leaving Baxter like this, then perhaps uh, I should stay back and make sure that nothing happens to him. That sounds, He's quite vulnerable like this. That makes sense. The, just yeah. We could have the original cast kind of go out and explore the <laughs> city. Sorry, what do you mean by cast? I'm a little confused by that. Uh, I think he's referring to the cast oh, this. system. And he pulls out a book. I've been writing your uh, stories in this book. Ah! Me too! Me too! Ah! Oh, interesting. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Somebody give that moment. I hope <laughs> Kale's going, ah! Ah! <laughs> but, uh, oh, oh, oh. I, uh, I hope... Going, ah! I, I hope... I hope you all enjoy the city and find what you're looking for. It's not, you would think, a place where the, neither. So, oh my god. The people uh, that are here are neither living nor dead. When you have found what you're looking for, come back to me and I can give you a, a really good parting gift before I send you back to where you need to go. Or where you want to go. I can send you wherever you want to go, to be fair. Right. Just, I'm going to look I to assume, a bed, set my respawn point. I assume you'll want to say goodbye to Ogden's mother, get your crew, and that ship as well. Yes, oh, ah. ship. I'd hate to leave it behind. We need Thor. Thor. Thor's yeah, a friend I've got now. a... I, I owe Thor a debt. So, yeah. I will take care of the statue man, and I will take care of, well... Well, you and Henry can go over that book. I mean, if you want to borrow my book that I've been writing to go over notes together, feel free, Henry. Sounds great. Oh, Wait, yes, I can, well, I'd be happy I'll to. Let, I'll let Henry hold on to it. Uh, just so you know, while you're wandering around this place, if you see any of the people living here, 
showing signs of confusion, memory Kill loss, him, right? or violent behavior. Well, well, let's wait. Uh, yes, let's please. Let's wait till we he says. Yeah, or right. take them out of the city limits. Uh, there's been a weird thing happening where the dead, or they're not dead, the half dead, the pre dead, have been turning into ghosts. Mm. But it's random, so we never know when it's going to happen. But those are the symptoms we see: confusion, memory loss, and violent behavior, and then they turn into a ghost. So and the... maybe we'll see Wolf again. Oh. So the pre-dead become re-dead. Well, yes. We're in a sort of state of like a, like I said, it's like purgatory. We're neither dead nor dying, or we're neither dead nor alive. Uh, sort of just sort of here. We don't know where the curse is originating from, either. I thought curses didn't exist. Diseases don't. Oh! oh. So you could have Boy. all the fun you want at the brothel houses here with no fear of catching anything. Is that necrophilia? That sounds like necrophilia. We're neither That's dead, the... we're neither yeah, dead un... nor alive. I think it's a place for you to expand your horizons, Ash. Thank it's you, like, Eclipse. It's like making My out with a vampire. My horizons no. have been plenty expanded. But, please, enjoy the city uh, whenever you are ready to leave. Well, there's a party planned tonight, so... I love a good party. Velcrophilia. And there is a family here brewing very good alcohol, known as Spirit Brew. I have an inkling. I might know whose family that is. Enjoy your stay in Solstice. And Mr. Boone. Yo, hey. Do you ever wish to return here when you're done your journey and compare notes and just explore? I will teach you how to plane shift to this plane of existence. I saw that spell once. Yes, I'll teach you the location once you have the capabilities of traveling here. Well, if you teach him the key, then we can use Thrall to get here True. every uh, every week or so. Technically. So technically, the Morning Shores, that's this place, but this is a city. The Morning Shores exist in the Far Realm. Mm-hmm. Oh. So you don't want to I'm not great at magic, so you have to use very simple terms with me. You don't want to explore this plane too much, because this is where Beholders and that come from. Oh. And okay. other strange Wait. nightmares. Either way, I have to take care of your statue, friend. I'll try not to break any pieces off. We want him coming back intact. Yeah. Oh, right. I do have the spell Stone Shape, so if there's any modifications you can think of, let me know. That's a joke. Please. I believe he said he wanted bigger ears. Bigger ears? Like significantly bigger ears. And how big? Did he say and he, that he puts two of his hands on Baxter's head and casts Stone Shape and makes them, like, new sized. He doesn't, like, lean down into- he's still in the portable hole. Oh, that's hole. right. Uh, and he can't get him out. He's in a can- oh, that's right. Telekinesis wouldn't even lift him either. Well, I mean, maybe- wait, if the two of us- if I get oh, nice. in and I lift- nope. He just- <laughs> <laughs> Not 20. And it doesn't even look like he's, like, straining. <laughs> just, like, pulls him out. All right. Um... He freaking net 20 that. <laughs> no, no, he didn't. Um... What? Nope. Uh, and he casts- stone shaped he's like okay how big do you want these ears and he kind of makes them new size at the start oh i mean i don't Longer? want them big it was, Down to it his was him that said he wanted the bigger ears okay and he makes oh. them he and he forms long. them he they forms them to down to baxter's ankles yeah i don't no no yeah actually tuck them up a bit tuck them up he curls them up give them little give them little points oh. like really sharp Okay. Sharp he makes, walking. He makes like very jagged, like serrated points on the tip of his ears. Can you make his hair into like a mohawk, like a spiky mohawk? Oh yes, mohawk? yes. Oh well, wait. Oh, does, does Baxter have hair? Oh yeah, Baxter does have hair. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mohawk. <laughs> anything else? Mohawk. Like Baxter is. He. <laughs> You guys would have noticed that he is constantly grooming himself. So, we're <laughs> like, giving him elephant ears, essentially, uh, a mohawk, anything else. Can you give him a bigger liver so he's not drunk all the time? I can't, no. <laughs> just a liver-sized lump grows yeah. from his abdomen. <laughs> <laughs> Cirrhosis won't help him! 
I need to seek a physician immediately. Uh, I can't exactly liver. I can't exactly grow. I'm a doctor of law. I can't grow interior pieces. Uh, what if you made just his tail slightly longer so that his feet are just <laughs> a little a uncomfortable in his shoes? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing I'm to a... his boots? I learned from the best. I'm taking no parts in this. Uh, make his toenails just a little bit too long to I can't, fit in his I boots. Can't, I can't take his boots off. They're stone. You know, uh, uh, here's one thing. Here's one thing. It, it'll just, it'll drive him nuts. You guys, hey, what, what, what about this? What about... I could turn his nose into a penis. Give him, give him. Uh, oh, don't, don't, don't give him a dick nose. That's a, that's a nightmare. It's a, a misplaced nightmare. That's, that's a true nightmare. A ball chin? No, no, I no, I don't. This is definitely a, way to get a butt ass, chin. This goes against butt my chin. character, but this is fun. What? Balls on the chin is a good way to get your ass kicked by Will Smith. It's true. Oh, he's here. <laughs> when did Will Smith die? <laughs> oh, oh. Some point. He was in, just. <laughs> some point in 2020. Some point in Men in Black, one of those movies. I think after. In the uh, uh, <clears throat> movie. Anyways, so, 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 so all three movies. No, he survived all of them. Yeah. But, but what was that, Ogden? So we're going to give him another belt loop. Oh. Makes another belt loop. On the back left side. Ooh. You won't know it. It'll drive him crazy. <laughs> all right. I think this is enough for Mr. I think this is enough for Mr. Ornstein. Um, wait, wait. Can you make him just, like, a little bit taller? What about a little bit shorter? It'll disorient him to be even just a little taller, All right. too. Let's go, <laughs> just like a, He's drunk. Let's go an extra just, three you're, inches. You're, an extra three uh, inches on top. Uh, that's in, that's you know like a summer of puberty! You know what? That's like a summer of puberty! You know what? Again, this can all be reversed. I just have to turn him to stone again. And then we'll just shorten the arms a bit. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you know what would be more fun? Back, because Baxter's like this, Over, right? Get, or just doing around. Baxter's like monsters. this. He's gonna yeah. grab. He's gonna grab the flask and make the flask like uh, bigger. Make it longer. Like really big. Yeah, okay. longer. He's like, all right. How much? Uh, how much taller is he? I'm adjusting his height right now. An extra three inches. Oh, so he's so six foot tall? four now. So it's just nice. subtle, yeah. He's a tall. All right. Boy. Go enjoy the city, please. <laughs> all would, right. You I seem so insistent. I hope none of you have stone shape repaired because I will lay the blame on you. Uh, Look. I don't. I don't. I <laughs> don't. Well then, have fun in the city, everyone. I'm blameless here. I had nothing to do with this. And this Papa Bonnet just shuts his privacy curtains and you can hear him reading. I have no more spells. Well, that's right, you wouldn't, yeah. I also can't no. really, I guess he also can't really compare because one is written in a completely different language that probably Henry can't read. Henry can read every language. Yeah. Papa Bondo oh, can read cool. lots of languages. Not with his eyes. <laughs> oh, what, I guess. <laughs> but he can read. I guess we better walk to the familiar. Walk into town then. What are we working for? You'll know what you're. For. I guess just like dead familiar faces. So well, you definitely said to kick out people that look like they're confused. So just yeah. beat them over the head and chuck them out of town. So, so do we just like ask everyone we come across? <laughs> do you know where you are? So <laughs> yeah. as you guys all step outside of Papa Bondi's shop or hut, that kind of mist recedes and fades. You can kind of see all the buildings, and nearby you see an inn called the Fabled Bear. The sign, I, uh... the sign is a bear wearing basically human clothes with a pipe in the mouth and writing in a book. Fancy bear. Fancy clothes. Yeah. And, right. and there's other buildings yeah. around, so whatever anybody wants to look for, you can probably certainly find it here in the city. Oh, uh, I'm gonna... Um... There's people wandering around. You can see just people walking about, <laughs> moving past you and stuff. Oh, just gonna, uh, just gonna squeeze right by you there. It kind of just keeps going. Um, can I try to find my old childhood home? Maybe? Give me an investigation check. Did you grow up here? Uh, investigation. 
Ooh, 24. 24. In the distance, you can see what looks like the district where people live, like the housing district nearby. So it might be there mm -hmm. somewhere. Possibly. You never know. Mm-hmm. Anybody else want to look for something specific? They always say an inn's a good place to ask questions. Yeah. Oh, I did. Papa Bondi said that Noose, that there was someone Noose wanted to find here. Yeah. Uh, but, like, the only person that, <sighs> Noose wouldn't even know of anybody. One, because, like, he didn't know about, like, he doesn't know Galen's dead. Right? I don't think we told him. Yeah. Like, he doesn't know... I don't think he knows about Oh, anybody. yeah, no. You were told, because I remember Noose getting upset about Aira Lee. Yeah. Right, right, oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right. And, I mean, you know, uh, Noose is a very young boy, so... Uh, exactly. You said within the last... Within years. the last 30 years, uh, he's going to be looking around for other goblins, first things first. <laughs> okay. Um, you see, out of the corner, I know you get a good look, but there is a goblin that actually walks through the back door of this inn. Okay. Again, the mist kind of obscures any good like recognition, but the, the goblin does walk through the back door into the kitchens of this inn. All right. His curiosity will have him follow. So you're going to go into the kitchen? I mean, yeah. He said he's. Okay. I mean, we're in a zone of like dead people, not a, not dead, dead, but dead. Any, so he's just like, okay. yeah, whatever. Anyone we're, going with news? Or are you all scattering to go look at your own thing? Guys, I gotta check some stuff out. Um, Do I'm you not want feeling... a friend with you? Do you need anyone? You don't have to go alone. Yeah, I. I'm not. I don't share stuff too often with you guys, um, and I think I've only told Equips and Ogden little bits, um, so if you guys want to join, you might have a little bit of context. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, sure, sure, uh, uh Ash and Leah, I... Trust you uh, will get into plenty of bar fight. Oh, definitely! I'll make sure she doesn't die. Ah, uh, here you go, Leah. Cook. And I give her a uh, uh, peg, peg the golden peg leg. You're giving me Peggy? Well, You're giving her Peggy? It's the best bar fight tool I can think of. Ash. Uh, yeah. Buddy. Yeah. I just realized that I gotta tell you some stuff when I get back, alright? Alright. Cause, Cause we are buds. Oh, of course. Alright, love you. Bye. Love you too, little man. Awesome. Awesome. Is that like a thing now? Alright, so who's all going Who's all going into the kitchens with news? So I can keep track? Yeah. Ogden and, uh... Eclipse. Okay. Uh, Ash and Leah, anywhere specific you guys are going? That you'd like to at least anything you want to look for here. Leah is looking for Lexi because she knows her soul ain't at peace. Okay, so there is a market district, there's the inn district, there's a living district, and there's a dock district. She'll probably try the inn first. Okay, so you're gonna go into the inn. Okay. I will follow Leah, especially after that concerning talk of bar fights. Okay. <laughs> Leah's so just, all five like, of us are going to the inn. His then? Arm, like... Well, there, yeah. Technically, all five of you are going to the inn, but three of you are going yeah. into the kitchen. Kitchen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're just we're just splitting up. Yeah, yeah. Bye -bye. Like we're, we all came all right. in together. Who cares? We're splitting all right. Up. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. <laughs> That's um, what I figured. I figured we were in the same. That's why I let her borrow Peggy. I'm getting Peggy yeah. back. So. All right. So, so I, we'll all split up and do our own thing. Okay. I'll walk into the bar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so since I, so I don't give the cool narrative thing away right away. Um. Henry or Ash and Leo, you guys walk through the front door of this inn. Uh, it's packed with people drinking, having a good time. They're drinking this like blue effervescent ale. 
Um, and behind the counter, you see this hobgoblin with mottled red skin, a black top knot, with red eyes, and he's wearing a turquoise hooded cloak and black leathers. And he looks over and goes, Well, I'll be damned. We don't get many freshies here. I'm sorry, what did you call me? Freshies. You know, not one of us. Oh, all right. My name's uh, Vinok. <laughs> Vinok, hello, nice to meet you. What are your names? Is generally how you respond. Uh, I'm uh, Eclipse. You're in the kitchen. Yeah, we're in the back. You're right. We're Never mind. Back. We snuck him back. Never mind. <laughs> Little halfling girl. I'm Leah, and this is Ash. Hey, how's it hanging? Your name's not Ash. You all, Leah, you kind of look at Ash. He doesn't look like Ash usually looks. What do you mean? You look like Gerhardt while you're here. Oh. I don't know that. That's why Ash is like, what do you mean I what do you mean my name's not Ash? You look a lot like the uh family who owns the uh spirit brew brewery. I do? Do you not know what you look like? And he holds up a mirror. Oh. Oh that's uh Oh that's different. <laughs> There's days where I don't remember what I look like after a good drink. Uh, could I do anything for you? Victoria, can you get these, uh, individuals a drink, please? Oh, my God. Miss Aaron House, can you please get these folks a drink? Mm. This bubbly kind of human female wanders over. Oh, hi. Um, can I get you two anything? Anything specific? <laughs> oh, I like your mushrooms. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Uh, if you have wine, that'd be great. Oh, of course. And she kind of wanders off. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, you looking for anything specific here? We don't, again, like I said, we don't get many freshies here in, uh, Solstice. Do you want to know how I died? Sure, sure if it makes died. you feel better. A lot of us kind of like to talk about how we died. It's kind of a fun little thing. Like, oh, how did you die? Whatever. Uh, I was poisoned by my own son. That's rough, buddy. Thank you. Uh, have you any of you died? Just out of curiosity. Yeah. Oh, how'd you die? Um, someone stabbed a heart. It wasn't my heart. But then I came back, so everything was fine. Oh. We have another one of your kind here, I think. Oh? Yeah, her name's Lexi. Do you and, like? She's gonna like get up <laughs> close to the bar and just kind of like. Do you? Wh where is Lexi? Uh, you can usually find her in the uh, living district, residential district rather. And like, she tends to the gardens there. She does. Yeah, only ever grows mushrooms though, so it's weird, but you know. And uh, this human female Victoria comes back with the wine. It's like a red wine, and she pours you all a glass and gives you the bottle and goes, Oh, are these the freshies you were talking about? And goes, Yep. Um, did you all happen to have someone with you? Uh, we, we do have other people with us, yeah. Oh, okay. Who are you looking for? Um... Uh, Never mind. It's probably been a long time at this point. It probably doesn't matter. No, no. We can still... Well, who are you looking for? She pulls out this uh, necklace that she's wearing and opens it up. And you see a picture of her in, like, like an embrace almost with one Baxter Ornstein von Huxley IV. <gasps> Him. Were you his partner? Well, betrothed but yes <gasps> yes he was with us <gasps> he's a little indisposed at the moment but if you want to go well, that's visit nothing new <laughs> a d a and he looks like a monster <laughs> 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 well uh different well, different indisposed when, but... when he's no longer indisposed could you tell him i'm here looking for him that would mean so much to me 
definitely. Yeah, he's just yeah, sure. sleeping like a rock right now. So once he once he's okay, we will we will totally send him this way. He loves 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 his alcohol still. I'm sure once I'm sure he'd love to hear from you. He's um, he he'll be all ears. Well, we generally introduce how we die, but I think I want to tell Baxter. And not you. Oh yeah, yeah, totally fair, totally fair. Okay, well, enjoy our wine. It's called something called Monsosa's finest. The people, oh, at of the course, it is. People at the Spirit Brew Brewery actually make it. I'm starting to wonder if there's any other type of wine in the multiverse at this point. Oh, of course <laughs> there is. There's all sorts. What's the blue stuff they're drinking? Spirit Brew. Can I try some of that too? Well, of course. And she, pour, <laughs> she pours you a pint of it and hands it to you. The pint's like you're basically like a hobbit from Lord of the Rings holding a pint. <laughs> And then, then Gerhardt finds out that uh, it comes in pints. His family just like <laughs> juices souls, and that's yeah. how they get the just, best line. Just puts, <laughs> just puts ghosts into a meat grinder. Yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> wow, uh, yeah. If you could all just tell, <laughs> if you could just tell me, uh, tell him to come see me when he's not indisposed. That'd be perfect. Totally. Thank you so much. Uh, my, my my name is Victoria, by the way. And like Lexi will like try to like give her a hug across the bar. Okay, I mean, she will. hugs you. She hugs you. She's yeah, just hugs you and picks you up. Oh, that's such a nice hug that you gave me. Thank you. You're welcome. And she kind of just goes to hug Ash and then goes, uh, never mind. And then yeah, not really a big hug. <laughs> and then yeah. kind of just walks into the back of the kitchen. Uh, in the meantime, the three of you get into the kitchen as she's walking back there, and she goes, "Oh, you three must be the new help for today." Uh, just go help Grump cut up the vegetables, please. And she turns and walks away. Had I, like, actually stealthed in to be, like, hiding? Okay, yeah, sure. Sorry about my dog. Are the other two actually going to stealth into the kitchens then? Oh, no, I'm just popping. Yeah, new season. Okay. So she, so she comes back. Like, Twenty-one. Okay. She comes in. She sees. Thirty-one. Okay. She comes in and sees Noose and Ogden. Oh, you must be the new hires to help Grump. Uh, can you go help him cut the vegetables, please, over there? You Grump! Like the and she kind of wanders off. Yes, his name's Grump. And she kind of just wanders off. Completely different Grump. Grump. What do you want? I want a hug. I don't hug strangers. And news comes running up. Huh? And ah! He screams. Ah! <laughs> and he pulls the knife and then, oh. <laughs> Well, this is weird. Hey. How'd you guys get here? I heard you got... Uh... We yeah. jumped into a hole. Weird portal. Yeah. Oh. I got yeah. decapitated. Yeah. yeah you I, look, I... uh... You look like the kind of type who would lose their head in a fight. Ogden. And he throws the knife at Ogden. <laughs> oh no! Does a seventeen hit? Does a oh. seventeen hit? Yeah. Uh, not if I cast shield. Okay, are you casting shield? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and the, sh and the oh, knife just, the knife bounces off and just hits, <laughs> clatters onto the floor. Just <laughs> I just start. I just start. Boom, doing, doing. Uh, from behind Grump. Uh, I'm just gonna say, now that wasn't very nice. Who are you? Trying to startle him. Who are you? You don't remember me. No. Grump, you were a part of my crew. No, I wasn't. I was part of Noose's crew. But it was my crew before it was Noose's crew. Nope. Don't know who you are. I'm Eclipse. Uh, no. Nope. Noose. Uh, nope. Whatever. Never heard of you. Hey, Gwump. Yeah. How's it going? It's good. It's nice here. Uh, it. Uh. I'm sorry that I didn't get there sooner. That's okay. You didn't do it. I, I helped. I helped. I mean, you did. <laughs> you did. <sighs> but you're doing good. Oh, yeah. I cut vegetables. You, you see any other goblins around? Oh, yeah, tons. 
kind of leans in. But I also see someone you look like sometimes. Oh, what do you mean? Like with my new my new stuff? And he like points at like the... F- no. <laughs> oh. Someone you look like when you're being tricksy. Hmm. A disguise? Not yeah. a goblin? Only well, alien oh. I remember you had was two stone. <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah. Him, 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 him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where is he? He has a shop actually in town. Where in is the- he? He has a shop in the merchant district. Tell me where it's at! The merchant district! <laughs> Near the docks! Where's the merchant district! That way! And he points to, like, the east. <laughs> okay. I guess I've, we're going? I have, I have to go uh, catch news, but uh, I want to say thank you for helping my... my, uh, my... Ogden. Ogden. Yeah. yeah, tell me. I have to tell you something. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get right in. Tell me. Up. Thank you for thanking me for saving your mom. But I have something to tell you. I saved her because get closer, it's a secret. Getting in so close, oh you could see every pore. We're lovers. You and my mom? Yes, we're lovers. Okay. I'm your father now, Ogden. <laughs> mm-hmm. you yes, must call Step me. Poppy? You must call Can me. Can I call you Step Poppy? Yes, please. Step Poppy? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then he slaps you across the face really hard and scurries off. I'm just no, joking. I grab him. I'm I joking. grab him. Joking. I grab him on either side of his head and I kiss his little peanut head. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then he scurries off. Just <laughs> let him rock. <laughs> you... Finally, I father, you can be proud. Ash and Leah, you hear that commotion in the kitchen, and uh, the like, "What in tar- Pans. Is, there? is everything all right back there?" Oh, it's a fucking. Hey, come- it might be the <laughs> goblin I hired, Grump. He's a little chaotic. <laughs> uh, I, I, I walk straight out to the bar where I have Leah, and I, and I grab Peggy, throw it over my shoulder, and say, I'll be right What back. the fuck are you doing in my kitchen? I head back into the kitchen. <laughs> he doesn't Good work to, here. Good Actually, to see you, Ogden. walk back into the kitchen. It's like, what are you um, doing? We need to follow news. Uh, oh. He's okay. He has really no harm. So you all don't, don't want anything here? I Le- think Leah's we're gonna sipping go... on like the wine and that. She's like okay. sipping on gin and juice, laid back. <laughs> all right, well. Uh, and as the... soon as she's done, she's grabbing Ash and just trying to tug him towards the door. Like... Yeah, I, was gonna, I think we're going to go take a look at a garden from the sound of things. So. Uh... All right, well. Which way is the living district? North, up a hill. North? Yeah. How long do you think it'll take us to walk? However long you want it to. Thank you. Incredibly so, vague. And he goes back so, to washing a glass and then, what in the fuck? And Noose, you are racing towards the merchant district and Eclipse and Algon are like behind you. They're like trying to catch up. And you pass a shop that does catch your eye just on the name alone. And everyone please contain your giggles. The name of the shop is called The Half Mast. (laughs) What's funny about that? Oh, I didn't contain it. Sorry. sorry. (laughs) Half Mast. Mm, Interesting. And And there's a look over. And on the Uh, sign, it's just a a black sail. Mm -hmm. Moose, you don't have to run off immediately when we find a clue. Yeah, I know. And you still kind of lean this way, and then you'd be like, Pew! <laughs> and then go inside that other building, just kind of on a whim. Okay. What did I just say? And oh, we have visitors. And approaching the counter, you all see this very not super elderly uh, halfling, uh, but it's a halfling that looks like Noose, the new the halfling that Noose would turn into all the time. Behind the counter, and goes, "Well, I'll be." Two stone noose. And he like slowly limps out into the uh, into the lobby of the shop. The shop looks like it just it offers an all assortment of things. Nothing really matches. Like it looks like there's like trinkets, but then there's not like adventuring equipment, jewels. There's no set sort of wear that he sells here. Oh, it's been some time, Noose. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's been a little bit. It's been a couple of years, huh? I'm going to kill you now, Noose. I know, well, but well, wait, I deserve wait, what? it. I'm kidding. <laughs> I deserve it. And Noose is just like... No, no Noose, stop it. Stop it. Was, it was one too many walk grubs in that one. Oh, it's fine. I learned a very valuable weapon from that. I'm sure you But it have. came at a cost that was too high. That's all right. It's pretty nice here. I've been stealing while I've been here. A lot of these shops oh. here, they're doing too well. How much time do you got in here before you punch out? I don't know. I don't think I'll ever punch out, to be honest. Oh. So you just want to stay here forever? Well, I mean, it's not too bad, but, uh... You know, here, you know, there's no ailments. I don't feel sick or anything. Um, you know, it's pretty nice, aside from the sickness that's been taking hold of some of the residents, and they've had to be escorted out of the city, but... All of a sudden, it's like... Equips. Yeah? Gwomp. He didn't remember you. Uh... News, give me an yeah, insight almost... check based on talking to Grump. I think he might just be, you know, playing a trick. He also is extra, extra crotchety. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> yeah, you get the sense that was just him joking around. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why are you, you told Grump everything you knew, so uh, I'm pretty sure it was just a trick. I don't know who that is. Why are you, all, why are you here, Noose? And who are these friends of yours, this tall gangly creature and this cat person oh tabaxi i haven't seen one of them in forever they're part of my crew um oh i kind of i want to i want to do like back to back arm like arms crossed yeah. with ogden we're like yeah we're his crew you uh, are <laughs> yeah, initially like... initially i was just kind of using them to kind of get a wound that makes sense do do uh do you know, black mass stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, Miss Tabaxi, what's your name? Uh, you can call me Eclipse. 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 Oh. I haven't seen you since you were a cub. You knew me when I was a child. Of course. Your parents... Liked buying my wares a, uh, a long time ago. Do you know if they're here or not? Oh, of course, yes. They're in the residential district. So is that other man that would come by sometimes. Mm -hmm. Blue Dragonborn. Yeah. I don't know his uh, name. Roman. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Equips. Yeah. Go ahead and go. I'll, we'll catch up. And do, you sure? need any, do you need any company? Are you going to be okay by yourself? Um, uh, I think I think I can wait. Uh, I got to see my parents back in Salt Spitzer. Um, I think I can wait. A few well, more, a few in case more hours. in case you you know get the urge. Go ahead and, I mean, we heard it was residential district. Yeah. Just leave, leave something in the, in the ground so we know where you went. I said I was going to join you for this. Um, so I'll stay with you for now. Oh, the thing about this place is if you just think of somebody, the roads will take you where you want to go. Interesting. It makes wandering the city much easier. Things shift around. It's a little worrisome, but... Oh, Noose, I was going to give this to you when you were my trainee, but that never seemed to happen. You know, uh, that case of rot grubs really got to me. Uh... And he reaches behind the counter, and he pulls up a hat. Like a big, like, wide-brimmed, kind of, almost like a sun hat. But it's made of uh, just an assortment of just various creatures' flesh. Oh! Mostly like frogs and lizards and 
some squirrels. There's like a squirrel tail that hangs off the back. And he's like, here you go. I was going to give this to you. Oh, boy. How long has it been for me since I've been here? Very long. Yeah, but it's been about four years, I think. Oh, jeez. Oh, was... wait, no, there was a two-year thing. Six years! Oh, did okay, that's I'm probably pushing a thousand years that I've been here, or more. Jeez. I've been here longer than Papa Bondi. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, no. <laughs> what was it like before he got here? He said he founded the city. Oh, it was aimless. We were wandering the beaches. Try not to get caught by these creatures called jailers. These jailers carry long chains of spirits tied to them, and they pull these spirits through portals. Apparently these portals destroy said spirits and power something here, but we never- I never got caught, thankfully, but there were many who did. And I don't know what happened to them, but for 200 years, I sort of was on my own, um, with some other Black Mass members who found their way here, um, not long before me or long after me, and, uh... Oh! Oh! I got the motto of violence. We killed her. Oh, excellent. Yeah. That's very good. He's yeah. a breathing puddle of goo on the shore, if oh. you want to see. Oh, that's fine. I saw enough of her for a lifetime. I'm sure she might have some questions worth asking her. Uh, is there anybody else from the Black Mast here? There is, but uh, none of them that you'd know. Okay. Oh, wait, I thought they were all dead after all the stuff that happened. No, there's, there's, from what I, from what I gather from Papa Bondi, the ones still on the material plane are still there, still alive. Oh, yeah, the material plane's still fine, which is surprising on the updates Papa Bondi has been giving me. It seems like whatever entity has taken over that place is playing a long game of sorts. Oh. Oh, I, well, jeez. Uh, we got other stuff to do, but I don't know. I feel like this might be the last time we get to see each other. Papa Bondi mentioned a gift he would give to you should you leave, so maybe not the last time. What? How'd you know that? It's hard to explain. <laughs> hmm. A lot of the spirits <laughs> here share conversations and dreams, but not all. Um, I have become very close with that turtle, so. Oh, I do, Stone. You take care not of yourself, like alright? <laughs> I don't- I polish his shell, you could say. <laughs> no. Um, Welcome to the half mast. We polish your shell. <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh, and just so you're aware, we do accept gold as currency here. <coughs> Surprisingly enough, enough people here have it, so why not? <laughs> well, um, yeah. Sorry, it didn't come in to buy anything. I just oh. saw that sign and dot it was you know serendipity oh it's fine i wanted to give you this hat anyway so oh thanks this will like try it on <laughs> fits it stinks that doesn't mean anything <laughs> so I hope you all, f I hope the rest of you find what you're looking for here. And who knows, Thank who's, you. maybe you can... There are numerous goblins here, maybe you can find two that might have more attachments to you than you think. Oh. I, I, I honestly didn't think, uh... uh that 
beatable here for me, but the more I think about it, the more I, I don't know. I kind of want to see some people again. We'll find them news. I'm sure you will. You all might have ancestors Wait, here. You guys. Wait. Oh, you guys. You guys weed away this time. We'll, we'll go. I, I got. I got stuff in my brain, but, uh. Ogden. Equips. You, you take the weed. And you so just, like, hold on to you. Uh, the back clips. of Ogden's robe. <laughs> I mean, you could billow your robe to do yeah. to billow it That's into true. a hand. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna billow the, the robe to hold Noose's hand. Okay. So. <laughs> Alright, let us start Think of the, the I mean, it might be fun to meet my parents again. I don't know. I haven't seen. I don't know. Uh, let's go. Right. And she's like visibly, visibly flustered. Okay. Uh, Ash and Leah, where are you two headed off to? Living district. Yeah, I'm following Leah. Okay. Leah, you wander towards the living district, sort of thinking of Lexi. And. The houses in the living district are also like they're all built on top of each other. I'm just zipping or whatever it's called. Um, we're back after our not scheduled break, but here we are. So, Leah and Ash are headed to the residential district to look for Lexi, and of course, there are gardens around. Um, is she getting the sense more that Lexi's in her house or in the garden? Just like from being here. Make me an insight check. Oh boy. Come on. Please. Oh, Nat 20, so 25! Doesn't succeed. Um, so, no. Um. <laughs> <gasps> when the druid fails an insight check on a Nat 20, it's like, you well, get, that's just. You get the sense she's probably in the house right now. She's gonna go and like you said it was on stilts. Yeah. So like try to like get up there like So very much like on... very much like Baba Lai Saga's house in Curse of Strahd, kind of tree kind of nestled in the tree roots. She's climbing up to the door and just like taking a minute and then she's gonna do like a little knock. Okay. Oh um, just a minute. And you hear like little footsteps shuffling and then a Meow Meow And then Lexi opens the door and goes, oh my goodness, Leah. Lexi! And Leah's just literally gonna jump on her and, oh. like, hug her. You could tell your handsome friend down there to come on up if he wants. Who handsome? What? Oh, uh, hi. Uh, yeah. Do you want to come up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And Ash, you can easily just climb up this tree. Um, mm. And yeah, you see this, not a big house, it's like a small, big enough house for a halfling druid. Um, or no, was she a gnome? I don't remember. But uh, I, think uh, I think she was a... No, she was an Eladrian, I think. Something like that. Like, she oh, was, like, right. taller. That's right. Uh, so she's kind of... She's like, oh, please sit. I just made tea. <gasps> tea? Yes. Uh, oh. No. Yes? Were you? Hmm. Trying to place Ash. I think you were there. Where? When I, when I died. Probably. Yes, yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah. They were in the vicinity. Yes. Um, yes, please, please. I have some tea made from the best mushrooms I grow. <gasps> Which mm. ones? All sorts. <gasps> oh. You know how there's everything bagels? I call this everything tea. <gasps> oh, wonderful. And Leah's gonna like sit down at like the little table and Okay. Um you feel something brushing up against your leg. Meow. Meow. Is it low, her cat? There is a skeletal cat brushing up against your leg. <laughs> yes it is. Sh <gasps> Leah's just gonna scoop her up and be like, Oh, oh my goodness. Meow. And she's just like Meow. giving her all scratches. Meow. 
And she's gonna go in her bag quick and take out one of the old like cat collars that she saved and like put it around their okay. neck. Meow. Meow. Oh my god, it's so good to see you. Meow. Oh, I'm so happy Lexi's been taking good care of you. Well, are you planning on staying here forever? Uh Leah's Le- Le- just kind of like... I don't want you to, but if you want to, that's fine. I... The fungal lich gave me instructions to kill Asmodeus, so I probably can't stay forever. Oh, that makes sense. You did let him out, so... <sighs> well, be sure to bring Lo with you when you go. Are... Are you sure? Oh, of course. I have many friends here. How are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm fine. I feel great, actually, not being tied to the circle anymore, to be honest. What do you mean? You know, she doesn't have any mushrooms whatsoever. And she's like, well... When I died, I was cut from the circle, and for the first time in my life, I don't feel heavy with something. Like, Lee's gonna take, like, a sip of her tea, like... It tastes like mushroom tea. I... When I found out your soul wasn't at rest, I went and I prayed to the fungal lich, hoping to get some sort of answer on how to help you. And I haven't gotten a direct response. Yes, many of the people here are not at rest. We don't know where that source lies. You have no leads about it at all? Well, all of the leads would lead us out of the protection of this city and into the Morning Shores itself, and none of us really want to wander out there. There are things out there I've never seen before. Threats unheard of and all of that. They say a writhing, tentacled aberration roams those lands. I think someone called it the Sunken Lord, but... You don't say. No, that's what I've heard, yes. So, you're happy to be here right now? As happy as one could be. Do you still... Do you still want me to try to get your soul at pieces? Um, I think whatever... I don't know. You know, Papa Bondi's made a really nice place for us here, so... I'm fine with whatever happens. Are you sure? Of course. I can garden. And... Whatever happens, happens. It's it's, It's what's meant to be, I guess. Here's this rod of resurrection you gave me came in very much handy, and I will thank you, Lexi. I hope so. While you've been here, have you happened to see Camilla and Otho, my parents? They might be around, but no, I haven't. Good to know. Baba Bond and I did say anyone who's died within the last 30 years in the material plane comes here not able to pass over. So I hope you don't stumble across people you might have murdered or anything. That? I guess we'll just have to murder them again. Yeah, I don't know what happens to people who die here like us. We call ourselves the in-between, so I don't know what happens if we die. It's never happened? No. We either live forever here, or we turn into 
one of those ghosts that have been popping up. How many have been popping up recently? Uh, I think it was ten last month and twelve this month. Any pattern to it? No, it seems random. Interesting. And, like, Clea's just sitting there, like, Meow. heading low. Meow. What about you, Mr. Handsome? What are you looking for here? Uh... He is single, so maybe a partner. Oh, uh... I am way past that. I'm flattered. Um... Not my type. Okay, uh, no accounting for taste. Anyway, um... I don't really know what I'm looking for here. I'm aware that I apparently have a lot of people I know here. Ah, you must be one of the winery's children. Yeah, that'd be my family, yeah. The Monsozas. Yep. They're a rowdy bunch. Interesting. One of them, <laughs> one of the sons likes to go to the bar every once in a while. I don't know who that would be. I used to be the one that used to go to the bar. And then there's the Holy One. He tries to make some of us feel better about our predicament here. I know who that is. Hmm. Well, I hear your friends are also wandering the city, and I don't want to keep you from them. So... There's gonna be a party tonight, so we'll see each other again tonight, Leah. So, I hope you'll be at the party. Definitely. I want to see you as much as I can, Lexi. And I hope Handsome here will be at the party, too. I, I have a name, you know. What is it? Ash. Hmm. Wonderful to meet you, Ash. You too. Well, go have fun. Go frolic. Go find whatever you need out there, Lexi or Leah. That's my name. Um, no, I'm not. It's not happening to me. Ah! Um, I hope you find what you're looking for. Your parents may be here, and if you can't find them, they might show up at the party tonight. I would love to see them. I haven't seen them for quite a while. And you just kind of see her just kind of like hold low a little closer and like grip her teacup a little tighter. Okay. Uh, and eventually you guys stop having your she, you're done having your tea uh, and she's like, well, I have to prepare for the party. I have to find a good dress. But you look good just like this. Yes, but a lot of people dress up for these parties, so... Well, what should we dress up in? Whatever you want. There's a really good, um, seamstress here, uh, too. What's his name? Um, Sigmund. Oh, <gasps> Sigmund? Of course, yes. Oh, wonderful. He makes everyone's clothes for the parties. Perfect. And, Lexi, one more thing before we go? Yes. I'm sorry that I had to be the one to end your predicament in the material plane. I wouldn't have wanted anyone else to do it. It was... News ended up doing a wonderful spell around where I buried you. Oh. Hmm. Well, I appreciate it. I'll see you later today. Burial rites, not that important. <laughs> I'll... <laughs> we'll I'll, find out. I'll see you later tonight, Leah. Right. 
and she's like giving Lexi like a big hug. Hugs you back. And I'll leave Flo here for the rest of the until the party, or do you want? I'll oh, bring him with you. He missed you. Oh, I missed him too. And like Leah's trying to not be like, because like she she knows Lo has been with Lexi for all this time. Just be like, okay, just puts Lo on her shoulder. Yeah, you can add a cat under your extras, by the way. Undead cat. Yeah, and it's undead, so. Um. All right. Uh, Ash, you want to go anywhere specific before we start bouncing back to other everyone else? Ash is seeming very awkward about seeing anyone he knows and is perfectly content currently to follow Leah around and not engage with his own problems. Okay, cool. Uh, same. All right, uh, that'll bring us to Ogden. Just, just for the sake of things, she'd probably want to go see the garden, and that's probably okay. where they'd be headed during... Okay. Them. That'll bring us to Eclipse and Ogden then, looking for Eclipse's parents in the residential district. Mm-hmm. So you see, you, you like start coming up the residential district. You see Leah and or and Ash walking off towards somewhere else. And there's like an undead cat perched on Leah's shoulders, but they disappear um, and go off to do their own thing. This Ash doesn't look like Ash right now, does he? Or is he just and... far away? No, he kind of looks like that ghost that stops some, you know, that protects the party and him sometimes. Yeah, his dad. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I... Yeah. Can he not control it here? That's weird. Anyway, are you sure wa- you don't have It's the two of you walking, you bump into somebody, and he goes, Oh, sorry. Apologies. I can't do a Scottish accent, but yeah. Um... <laughs> Oh, apologies. Wait. Uh, does this Noose... talk like Shrek. This isn't the guy that Noose killed, is it? No, Noose isn't here. Oh, yeah, no, but no, 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 oh, no, it's not. Noose is, <laughs> Noose is here. Oh, it's... Oh, I don't know. Three of you are together. Uh, yeah. You see someone... Hopefully I'm describing this right, because I don't remember. But it looks like a figure that you've seen Ash look like from time to time. Um, I'm uh, talking all the time. All the time, yeah. Looks like Ash? Yeah, essentially. Oh, hello, Hi, Ash. Hey, Ash. What's up, buddy? No. Dustin? Yes, thank you. Wait, what? Yeah, who's Ash? Um, I'm Dustin Miller. Uh, Um, Ash is a friend of ours. Um, Who's... You might know him better as the name... Erhard Mansoza. Oh, no, where is that little fucker? He's that way. Yeah. He just wandered off that way with another friend of ours. Is he drunk? I don't don't think think so, so. but we were just at a tavern together. Hold on a second, guys. How often have we seen... I guess... uh, And he'll look at, uh... I mean... He'll look at Dustin. Uh, Go... Go (laughs) hot. That seems weird to say. I mean, like, maybe once or twice? Maybe we've seen him drunk once. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, I mean, I I died from drinking. <laughs> yeah. He looks, anyway, the guy you're looking for. You look like for, the type. The guy you're looking for, he's like over there, I think. Oh, but good. dang, you look a lot. He. Okay. I think things are starting to make sense, guys. I am his friend I mean, Dustin. I got hit by lightning. Ogden, stop it! I'm gonna slap <laughs> oh, Ogden's hand. Ow, ow! <laughs> the, uh, it's rude! Oh, actually, Easy with the merchandise! I assume you probably heard the story then. I got hit, gentle. I got hit by lightning. Uh, uh, and then, yeah, a, bu- bunch of, then a bunch of, of then a bunch of fucky shit happened. Um, no, I've never heard that story. Oh, well, it's not my story to tell, I guess. Um, no, it's really a ah! story. So, do you know where he went? I let you that way, like uh, we said. Yep. Oh. <laughs> All of three of us just point he, very like forcefully. That general direction. <laughs> you see him pull out this bottle of whiskey? Very potent. Um, you might enjoy? want to uh, have a sort of like soft reunion. Oh, uh, I don't know nah. if he's really quite ready nah. to uh, see gonna, you again. I think I'm going to sneak up on him. Uh, well, just be where um, just be where he is a uh, very competent fighter, and he oh, can probably do oh, a lot of he's, damage. He's competent now. Newscast blessing of the trickster on. <laughs> okay. okay. He's like, oh, wait, wait. You said he's competent now. In 
In the uh, physical realm, yes. Who's been training uh, with... him then? I was. Uh, I was the one. I was it. the one training him in life. There's no way he's better than me. I mean, it has been like three years, at least. Well, eight hundred for me, I guess. Um, yeah. What do you do with your spare time? Got any new skills? Can you sew? I get drunk, and I fight things. Yeah, you might have a leg up on him still. And among other things. Yeah. Um <laughs> He actually has another leg. Oh. He's a third. No, he's like behind his back. He's a centaur. You said, yeah. you said, you said, is he not like how I used to know him when we were like go to the taverns and... I mean, he's a little more conservative alcohol-wise. He's a captain. That's why he equips. You knew him before all that. Oh, you know, he points out equips. You're happened. the one who worked at the tavern. Yeah, the uh, singing pig. Holy fuck. Yeah, you guys were shooty tippers, by the way. Maybe you should have been. This guy's got a. Oh, sorry, yeah, go you should have been a better bartender. He punches you on the shoulder playfully and walks away. To be oh, honest, whoa, I wasn't whoa, really easy. trying. <laughs> <laughs> Easy on the merchandise, not trying to white knight, she can defend herself very confidently, but be cool. You two make yeah. a cute couple, and he walks away. Yeah, well, no, yeah. be oh, well. cool, be cool, everyone's cool, everyone's we, cool. We are, we're not, we're not. We're not. Jeez, this guy has a good memory, he said 900 years? Eight? Eight? Walks away. Yeah. Uh, and as, yeah. as the three of you are walking, Eclipse, there's a house that stands out. Childhood home stands out. Oh, you know, are you sure there's no one else you want to check it up in first? Like, uh, oh, hey there, Ogden can... Boone. I'm your grandfather, Mogden Boone. No, nope. Mogden. No. <laughs> <laughs> they, call me, Mog. they call me. They call me. Mogden. They call me Oglin Bloom. And Oglin Bloom. Oglin Bloom. <laughs> okay, but, uh, listen. But uh, no. Uh, yeah. Listen, listen. Grandpappy Moingona. Listen. <laughs> Moingona. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes, yes, Grandpappy Moingona. Listen, I, I will all I gotta say is, first off, that hope chest that I now keep all my knickknacks in, still getting use, and also, Silger has plants now. Am I right? Up top. I don't know who you are. That's not my name. And he just walks away. Um, but no. <laughs> <laughs> That was just a joke thing. Um, wait, no. <laughs> Those are just like, wait, oh, oh no. Do we need to beat this oh, guy over the head and take him out? No. Bird dog him noose! <laughs> um, but no, no yeah. Think, He's showing I signs think, of confusion! No, no I it think was it was just, just a doing... joke! <laughs> um, you all, but yes, Eclipse, you see a familiar family home. Childhood home, rather. You don't have any, you know, like, aunts or uncles who have passed on from the material plane? Nope. Your family is still alive and good? No friends? No, both my, both my parents were only children. Oh, isn't that convenient? Um, yep, and my grandparents <laughs> died peacefully. They had no unfinished business. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was inherited well. Isn't that convenient? Oh, okay. Great. I never even had any pets that died. That's a little that sad. You, that, um, that you know of. That I can remember. I mean, if I don't remember don't them, are they about. really my pets? Icarus, my uh, pet. Yeah, Ogden, where's Icarus? Yeah. I'll spend the next hour just conjuring. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yes. Okay. So yeah, you're at this. You're at this. You know, the chicken it, dance? <laughs> it's a bird with wings. Um, so. Not very good. Uh, yeah, you're sitting in front of your, this home. It sounds like there's people eating dinner inside. You can hear like plates and glasses and all that sorts of stuff. Yeah, I think I'll wait until uh, Icarus uh, joins us. I think That's so know, long. Uh, oh, well, company. Yeah, I know. That's that's totally fine. You can totally wait for them. Ooh. Shut door opens Shut and you, door opens and you see this tiger looking individual sitting there looking around. I'm like two feet away from Ogden, about to strangle him. Oh, well, hello! Oh, fuck. Um... Afternoon... Deza? Yeah. Come on in. Um... Maybe we 
can do just have, talk out Do we here? have guests? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, oh. guess what? Guess what? Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. We you. had a fight. Uh, the last fight that you were ever in. And I scraped together a bit of your guts and fur. And I was gonna, I was gonna help at some point. But, you know, it just didn't happen. The guy who killed me is here. Or technically is. You know, Roman. He lives on the street. Who the right. fuck? I think blew the guy up my... who killed you. Who the fuck? Yeah, Roman. That's what I meant. Shark person. <laughs> no, Roman killed him, and then the sh Mor Mordecai blew him up. Yeah. yeah. Blew up his corpse. <laughs> Speaking of, the fucker that blew me up lives here too. Mordecai. Yeah, we uh we heard he had passed. We visited his father and his siblings. I don't know those nice. people, but seriously, come on in. We're just having dinner now. Uh, there's enough. Uh, are you sure? I don't want to intrude. We set enough tables, funnily enough. But if your friends don't want to stay for dinner, want to explore the city, that's their, that's their choice. Couldn't be happier to join. This is amazing. Great. I'd love to come out for dinner. Great. Uh, do, the... love do, I, it. do I know you? I don't know if I do. Oh, who, me? Durza, this is Ogden Boone. Uh, man of pleasure, seeker of treasure. Hi, how's it going, Durza? Why are you two I've seen your so armor. It's beautiful. Weird around each other. What? Who's weird? We're just, we're just Who's friends. Who's weird? Yeah. It's nice to see you again, Noose. Hey, buddy. Hey, you know, those health potions you gave us were really useful. It stopped us from dying a whole bunch. Sorry we couldn't give you one before you died. That's fine. Uh... I got reunited, so dying wasn't that big of a deal. Come on, come on, come on. And he steps inside the house. Alright. <clears throat> well, Ogden, that was my father. Huh? As you might have guessed. Yeah. Um, this was my childhood home, just motioning to the facade. It's very cute. I like it. I like the, I like the white and then the, the blue accents around the windows and our doorway that's nice that's yeah nice. my mother was a from what i remember she was pretty artistic you hear yeah. you it, hear footsteps approaching by the way equips uh, yeah this is new for me but i recently found out that you know it takes two types of people to make another person yes it does noose and i mean Based on what I've learned, you've always known your papa, but not your mama. Oh, Speaking I knew of her. your she mama, she just died when I was young. She steps around the corner, and you all see a similar-looking tabaxi as Eclipse, just without the pirate regalia or the samurai armor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is interesting. Oh, Eclipse, did you have a sister? Oh, you must be... <laughs> Who are you? Oh, my... Oh, Ogden Boone. Uh, man of leisure, seeker of treasure. Shakespeare. Uh, 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 on uh, on Chante. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> this a charmer. is my mother. Oh, oh, of course. Hello. Hello. You seem... You seem... Uh, thank you for... Having us, we're we're about to join you for dinner. And who is this uh, funny little one? Hey, this is yes. my good friend Noose. Someone I Hi. met uh, on uh, uh, when I was working with Durza. Yep, my name's Noose. Hello. Hello. You wave your hand a lot. He's very excited. Oh, very excited to meet you. This is my uh, brother who lived with my mother. This is very true. I am Ogden's maternal m brother. Yep, on my mom's side. Right, well, my name's Jasper Clove. Uh, I believe you know my husband, Durza, and well, you obviously know my daughter. Yeah. She's one of a kind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, come on dinner served and it'll be nice to sort of catch up and learn more about you uh, it sounds it sounds perfect Mr. Boone yeah and she walks into the kitchen 
Oh. He just grabs, equips his hand, and he's just like, <clears throat> Oh man, is your mom gonna put him through the gauntlet? The parents. I really hope not. Oh, I bet you. I can't, I can't. It smells <laughs> great. It smells fantastic. What do you? not quite dead, but not alive people eat? How am I supposed to know? Come on, it's it's the best pork we could find. What is my GI tract in for? It's pork. I guess it's pork. Yeah. Uh, oh, pork. perfect! Oh, I, beautiful! I, guys, beautiful. Guys, I'm sure all of you know. I mean, me, I have been quite in touch with, you know, the spiritual aspect of life for an expended period of time of my life. So. I feel like I should share something that is fairly obvious, and that pork is a eating pork is a spiritual experience, so it only makes sense that that is the meal that they would have prepared. The food is getting cold. I'm gonna we're just on our, we're on our step way away in. from this obnoxious okay. conversation. And uh, the table's laid out like it was every single time you remember eating dinner as a child. Um, Obviously, you have more of an adult-sized plate and not milk or something. I don't have, like, a kitty plastic plate. I have, yeah. like, a full adult yeah. glass plate. Uh, and there's a big hug. And this is, like, a full suckling pig on the table. Um, and you all sit down. Uh, and immediately, Jasper looks at Ogden. So, uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, well, you know, I break into people's graves and I steal their valuables and uh, then I write stories about it and I give it to museums. So, huh, He's an pretty archaeologist. Much. Oh. Oh, one of them. Interesting. <laughs> Apparently, she's into brevity this evening. <laughs> are you... What are your prospects? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, where do you think you see yourself in the next ten years? Oh, I don't know. I, I can see myself anywhere, really. Hmm. To have this uh, conversation noted, now. Noted, noted. Well, I mean, um, what I, I could, I could literally tell you where you're going to be in the next twenty-four hours. And where's that? Give me a moment. <laughs> Odin, are you really doing this right now? I think he has. Someone a asked. I'm pretty sure he has a portent for this. <laughs> <laughs> We did have a long rest. <laughs> New portents. Yeah. You'll be uh, you'll be having a delicious meal uh, uh, with uh, all your loved ones. However, we'll be gone, but we're gonna leave something with you. You'll never forget. Right. He's also a diviner. Oh, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> ah, traps! Don't trick me. Hmm. <laughs> and I mean, is it really? What is it you... really a trap if you walk right into it? <laughs> what are your plans with my daughter? Huh? What are your plans with my daughter? Uh, who makes plans with humans? You don't. You plan. You plan an attack. No one... He's asking if you're courting me. No one here is a human. Oh! <laughs> oh and also, okay. no one here is a human. Being. I mean, we all, I mean, let's, you know, one love, we're all here. We're all just... People. Spinning around on this rock made mostly of water. So what is, what's your plan with my daughter, then? I, I mean, I don't know. What's, what's her plans with me? I think it's more the accurate question. Boom, chocolate. Wait. <laughs> yes, Eclipse. <laughs> what are your plans with Mr. Boone here? Uno reverse! Yeah, hot seated. You got hot seated. You can see Durza's just like eating his food, not paying attention. He's like, "Oh, this is really good pork." Yeah, mm, so Mama, good. this is a really good pork. I'm just gonna take the biggest oh, slice I can you. and shove it in my mouth. Thank you, but um, we're not we're not leaving this table until my questions are answered. And I'm just gonna eat, really, Mr. Boone, really slow. Yeah. Durs and I have been talking for quite some time. Okay. 
Durs is like buried deeper into his plate of food, not wanting to like take part in this conversation. He's like, "Oh, this is real good." Um, <laughs> Eclipse takes after her father. <laughs> How would you say your childhood was? A oh, horrible, horrible. A lot of books, a lot of disappointment. Would you do next that? question? Would you want a better childhood for your children? No. No, it's why I am the way I am. Do you think good chil child children? Do you think good childhoods make good people? No. That's a crazy question. Next question. Will why have I turned into Owen Wilson? <laughs> next question. Will you marry my daughter at some point? Wow. What? Uh, I think that's a conversation for another time, Mama. Well, no, no, it's a conversation for Lewis, right now. I am so sorry. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, hey, Dad, you. Hey, you want to go get some uh, drinks Actually, from the cellar? There's a there's like something I really gotta show you. Uh, something really I'll cool, something you interesting. Come, there's, come no, there's a come story. Sh come show no. me in the cellar. No, no, equips. I got this. Are you sure? Cause like I can show you around the house first. No, no. No, uh, no. Jasper, let's talk the about the institution of marriage. I'm very fine with it. See, here's the thing, I though. Hate it's all a. Of you. It's just a. It's a problem of like. Most people don't understand that uh, uh, marriage is a construct that we've uh, uh, forced onto other people to make them feel secure. But, you know, really, isn't the commitment of not getting married and saying yes to each other in every single day more of a, a, a commitment to each other rather than having some legal system thrusted upon yeah. you? If we do end up, which I think is very unlikely, it'll definitely be in the case of a common law marriage where we just been together long enough that it just happens. Well, uh, oh, I guess, I guess, I guess I'll be your, will help. I guess I'll be your consolation prize. <sighs> I was not uh, saying news. that, uh, There's Ogden. something in the basement I want to show you. I heard you like weird things. Let's let's go. Yeah, no, I have some stuff to tell you. Let's go. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Ash and Leah, you guys get to that garden, and it's just mushrooms of various sizes. <laughs> Leah is like gonna pick some and put them in her bag and while this is happening oh fuck uh, you're, just, you're picking these mushrooms and Leah what's your passive perception jite and Ash, what's um, your 15 14 cool you hear footsteps but before you can react someone tackles Ash from behind and knocks him to the ground and it looks like Ash tackled Ash uh, okay, as a react, like, immediate just fight-or-flight reaction, I hit the ground, I want to try and just giant strength, just hurl the person off of me. Yeah, let's do contested strength checks. Alright, oh, my dice are currently, I'll be right back, I don't, forgot my dice. I win. Uh! What do you get? I win. No. Come on, let's go! Right. Let's do it! Leah's just like, what the fuck? But while, like, when she was thinking about, she was thinking about her parents if they're here, because mm -hmm. she wants they're to find in them. The mushrooms. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine Leah's just picking, and she's just like, "Athletics, yep, thirty, twenty, <laughs> twelve. Okay. All right, <laughs> you fuck her." <laughs> What the fuck are you doing, Gerhardt? Wait, I know that voice. Her, yeah. Yeah, you do, you little fuck. And He's you, not you're looking at You're looking at Dustin. Hi! Hey there. Been a while. Yeah, it has. It's been a while. Your friend's, po uh... your friend's pointing me towards you, so here I am. How you been? Dead. How you been? Not dead. Well... No, yeah, no, I never died. Well, fucking brag about it. it well, look, not for lack of trying, okay? You still get drunk and get into brawls. Ah... Uh, yes and no. He pulls out a very familiar bottle of whiskey you everyone would drink at the bar in Dombrek Cove all the time. Mm -hmm. You want to? 
not particularly. Can I have a sip? Yeah, sure, little one. And he hands it to you. <gasps> Just take the whole thing. I can, <gasps> really? I can, I can beat this wimp without alcohol anyway. <gasps> he cracks his <gasps> neck. He just takes a sip. So I heard you uh, have become competent now at fighting. Oh, is that what you heard? Yeah, their friends say, oh, he's very competent now. Yeah, he's I'm... fantastic. I'm sure they think so. You want to tussle? Uh, sure. Uh, first, though, um, it's probably something I should show you before you see it. Uh, or You're not talking out about of... your... No, we're not. What? <laughs> All right. Reach out of my back and pull his family pike off my back and hold it out in front of me. Well, hell, look at that. Where'd you find it? We found it on a shipwreck. Um, I think one of your family members might have been on it. Oh, yeah, my dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. You can keep it. Thanks. I didn't want to keep using it without asking, but I also haven't really been able to ask. Great. Holy fuck, what's that? What? What is that? What's what? He's pointing behind you. There's something on the fucking wall. Wait, what? Where? He charges you and goes to punch you in the side of the face. Oh! Uh, 16 hit. Uh, that's exactly my AC, yeah. Okay, he just, he's not, it's no damage, he just runs up and just, boof, in the jaw. Oh! Alright, Leah, ho hang on, hold on to well, something you got for me. Well, you got fucking slow. Yeah, give me a second. Leah, hold on to something for me, please. Uh, uh, okay? I'm gonna yeah. hand Leah the pike, and I'm gonna take the belt off. Oh. He's gonna summon his spirit daddies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hand Leah the belt, too. Also, since I so I can't control my appearance while I'm in here, right? Correct. Does that does the armor look like armor then nope. now, or does nope. it it that's still closed? Yeah. Okay. It's just my face. Yep. Okay. All right. Oh, here we go. Let's see what you learned, big guy. All right. Uh, what the hell is my strength? Wait, what, what is my strength actually supposed to be? Wait, can I just? There we go. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll throw an experimental punch to start. Okay, go for it. Uh, that's a twenty-three. Oh, that definitely hits. He's not wearing armor. <laughs> How do you punch him? Where are you punching him? Uh, I'm gonna actually. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with like a quick jab, to, like towards his face, but I'm gonna aim it over his shoulder so it just like grazes past him. He's like, oh, you fucking I missed. Then I'm going to grab him by the back of the oh. neck and pull him into a knee to the gut. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. He's going to go to kick you in the nuggets. <laughs> all right. Nope. He goes to kick, but he like, he's just still winded. He's like, oh, what in the fuck? All right, I'm going to, when he comes back, when he comes around for the kick and whiffs, I'm just going to try and grab his leg and pull up to knock him prone. Okay. Uh, that'd be contested athletics, yeah. Yep. Uh, 16. 18. Yep. Oof. Oh, what in the fuck? And then, can I take my two attacks? Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, then second attack, I'm just going to drop onto him and try and pin okay. him with a grapple. Sure. Another 18. Yeah, you definitely grapple him. <laughs> just like a... What the fuck? With, the, the fuck with a leg you... up, just like wrap an arm How around him. the fuck did you him. get so strong? We said he was competent. Been, uh, I've been working out. I can tell. Holy fuck. Wow. You just had to break free of that grapple. All right. Nope. <laughs> There's no way. Uh, I got a 15. Break. Seven. Yeah. All right. Come on. What the fuck, man? What, 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 uh, what? Are you having trouble here? You haven't, you stuck? You having problems? What's, uh, what's going on? This is very... Alarming to me. What? 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 what what's alarming about I'll this? Alarming? To, I'll send here to kill you. Oh, really? No, I'm kidding. Yeah. And he's You're doing a bad job. He's You're doing a bad job, and I'm just like gonna take. Like, I've got basically like, I've got these like one leg up, and I'm just like, 
pinning it up so his leg is pretty much like pressed up to his chest. I'm just like taking his taking his knee and just like bonking him in the face with it. Hey! No! Uh! He needs to try to break out again. Stop hitting yourself. Stop four. hitting yourself. That's a four. <laughs> That's a... Uh, I can't even roll a four. That's a 17. <laughs> All right, I yield. For Christ's sakes. I'm just gonna give him a pat on the head and then stand up and then help him up. Oh. That's not normal. Oh, no, that's 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 pretty normal for me. I'll go over to Leah and I'll put the belt back on and like go back up to my twenty three strength. She now has this to back the pike. Yeah, now this here, now this is not normal. I can tell. Holy moly. I missed you, Gerhardt. Yeah, I've um, I missed you too. And he just goes in for a hug. Man, are you are you guys gonna be at the party tonight? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I might have to see my whole family, who I haven't seen since they died, and I think I might have killed some of them. I think you only killed your father. Uh, Did I? I wasn't entirely clear on that. I, I missed a lot of that time. I've so. been I've been talking to your your family for a while, for a bit. I think you killed Manfred. Yeah, he Wolfgang was killed by this little green thing. I guess he also deserved it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he was uh, possessed. He. Wolfgang was possessed, um, but he's doing much oh. better. But he's doing much better now. Um, Peter, you know, he's here, and so is your mom. Oh, yeah, great. I'm sorry about what happened to you, and you dying. Yeah, well, it wasn't your fault. Weird set of coincidences. I mean, I'm the one that insisted we go stand up under a tree in a thunderstorm. Yeah, well. It's a cool story. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I'm the one that'll have to tell it then. Wouldn't be so sure on that. He smiles and goes, It was nice to meet you, Leah. It's nice to meet you too. Do you want to wrestle? No, not particularly. Like your cat? <gasps> thank you. Would you like to pet her? No, face? thank you. No. I don't like skeletons. Um. Bones creep me out. Um, Hedinger. Well, it's good to see you get hurt. Yeah, you too. Who knew? Fucking, you'd get so strong. <laughs> well, with the with the world missing you, I had to pull the weight for both of us. That makes sense. And he's like, well, I gotta go get ready for the party. There's a guy here in... Uh, in the city, that makes a lot of good, nice clothes. So, is, yeah, I heard. I heard Sigmund is around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I don't have. Uh... Well, actually, I'm gonna check. Can I, so I can't change my face, but my clothes still look like clothes. Can I change the clothes? Yes. Okay. So just like poke my shirt, and it just changes color. I'm good, actually. I'm good on that. Well, that's some fucking bullshit. Yeah, you, I picked up a few things. I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, couldn't only go off of, you know, current, couldn't go out, live the rest of my life only going off of what you, yeah, what you taught me. Needed to keep up my education. That makes sense. Well, I hope I see you at the party. Yeah, I guess I'll be there. I hear. Uh, oh, yeah. What's going on? Have you? Uh seen an Otha walking around or anything recently? I think so. Do you know I think, where? uh, I think he's, uh, handling some of the party stuff. I think he's busy setting up the party, uh, down in the town square. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, well, I gotta go get ready, so, uh, I'll win next time, Gerhardt. And he just kind of walks off. Like to see you try. Heard that? So, <laughs> is your heart like the? Is Ash like your middle name, and you just don't like your heart? Uh, it's kind of a long story. I didn't have my own face for a while before you met. Uh, before you joined up, I was officially dead for a bit. I kind of got. A, Picked a new name. Kind of just stuck. 
kind of like how the dingleberries got stuck on Eclipse's soul. Like that let's, suck. No, 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 not re no, not really. So, do you want me, us, to call you Gearheart now? No, no, no. That's that's fine. Ash, Ash is Ash is good. Ash is good. Okay. Ash, can do, do you mind if we take a little detour to where they're setting up? Not at all. Uh, uh okay, awesome. And you see her kind of like. So you, you can tell something's up with her, and she starts like think like walking towards like where they're setting up, just trying to think about her dad. Okay. Um, Noose and Durs are in the basement, looking at like wines. He's like, "Oh, I have this one. That one could be good. What do you want to show me?" Uh, I came to kind of tell you what's happened with Equips since you've been gone. Oh yes. And you regales him with the most uh, whimsical story of a tale of everything that happened since he was exploded by Mordecai. <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah, I don't know. I imagine that would take some time. Oh yeah, like hours probably. Or like All an hour that? or so. Um, he's gonna he's gonna begin doing that. Okay. And whatever happens, he's either in the middle of it or finishing it up by the time okay. <laughs> things happen. So, Mr. Boone. Uh yeah. Just treat my daughter right and I don't have to kill you. Hmm. Yeah, okay, sure. That's all. Uh, yeah, I figured that'd be that'd be great. Uh, you'll kill him? Like, wouldn't Jezza do that? Oh, or... he's kind of a wimp, isn't he? And also, I mean, I'm totally uh, with uh, these uh, non-conforming gender roles. You know, I didn't I didn't want to get strong-armed anyway. Also, probably if I do anything wrong, your daughter could uh, easily kill me oh, while yeah, I was totally. awake in secret. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I've heard some things. Uh, I heard very little about you, though. Yeah, I mean... I, you died when I was six, and that's... And all I know is that you were poisoned by one of uh, Asmodeus' uh, assassins, Valakash. Yeah, Kalios I, poisoned me. Yeah. I mean, uh, the outside of this house, I, is that stucco? I'm gonna walk out of the room. Okay. Trying to give them some time, because that seemed like it got more real for a second, where perhaps these two need to have a conversation, not me. Yeah, he poisoned me. It's like plaster. And it showed up as a sickness, so we didn't know what it was. I mean, uh, from what others have told me, it was because um, Asmodeus wanted to weaken our family, but why us? Why you? I don't know. Oh, hold on. I left the door open. Um, I'll keep checking the foundation. Thank you. It's good, it's good foundation. Uh, yes. I don't know, honestly. Um, well, then, uh, on a slightly lighter note, what did you do before you, before you were a mother and uh, a really, wife? Do you really want to know? I mean, kind of. I know almost nothing about you except how you died. Um, nothing super exciting, like you or your father, um, I was just a baker. That's all. What was your favorite thing to make? Oh, meat pies, I think. Yeah. Remember the- Out of boys who don't treat my daughter right. 
No, that's a joke. <laughs> Just meat pies. Yeah, I, I remember the kitchen smelling wonderful on some nights. Me too. Um, how did you and Reza meet? He tried to rob something, well, try to steal something from me at some point. I imagine he didn't succeed in that attempt. He did not. What'd you do, throw one of your cleavers at him? I did. <laughs> and then he apologized. And he brought his friend along when he apologized. Roman? Yeah. And... Um, That was weird, but yeah, and then we started talking every once in a while, and there you have it. And I know you, I know you spent time with Roman as well, and he's here too, he's happy, he's with his family. I'm glad. Um, most of the time I knew him, he wasn't himself, so... That's but, what Durza said. Yeah. I wish I could have known him growing up. Probably would have been a better childhood. Yeah. We made him your godfather, but I guess that didn't pan out too well. Oh. Um. I mean, I guess he did, uh resurrect me so that's true if he didn't at least you would have been here with us yeah but that's not right we don't we wouldn't want to reunite that way no no yeah I mean if it would have happened anyway I mean at least uh, some of us are alive that I'm sorry that's weird oh it's fine Um, Is Ogden still checking out the the outside of the house? He's an interesting one. Good bones, real good bones on this on this house. Good structure. I feel solid. Like, Just kicks the side I, of the house. I feel like he. I don't know. I mean, he's enjoyable to be around, and uh, that's important. I mean. He was there when Roman gave me his journal, or I found Roman's journal, and kind of just been by my side through most of this journey. And I trust him. That's important. That's good. Um, These flowers! Who knew? Who knew? In an in-between not dead, not quite alive place, you could find dandelions and daffodil, daffodils. They're marigolds. He's easily excitable. Um, yeah, daffodils. I'll get these in some water. She reaches under the table for something and hands you this little box eclipse. Uh, what's, what's this? When the time's right. <laughs> I'm gonna take the box and just crack it open, peek inside. It's a necklace. With like a little pendant. Uh, was this yours? Yeah, uh, Durza gave it to me. Right. Um. Should we, should I grab, speaking of him, should I grab does a noose from Oh no, Asala? that's fine. I I think the party's starting any minute now, so we have to get ready. Right. Will you be going? I mean, I mean, I'm assuming the rest of our group will be, as we all have uh, friends and I family down here. I think your father would really like to dance with you, for once. 
I, I nice. hope you don't mind. I made a, a boutonniere out of this uh, out of this daffodil. I made you. I made you a corsage. Uh, thank thank you, Ogden. You're welcome. I also I made you a centerpiece. Thank you for your for your lovely table. You picked my flowers. They're perennials. They'll grow back. <laughs> hmm. I didn't, and I didn't pick them all. I'm just fucking with you. You did for Lord Eclipse's mom. <laughs> nice. No, as, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, I, uh, I unflowered Eclipse's mom. There's a difference. Yeah, it's called a healing yeah. spell. Um, so, um. I'm gonna... <laughs> that's a crisp, that's a crisp silence. Um, so uh, for the edit, the part, the uh, the party will be starting as soon, I imagine. So I hope to expect to see you both there, Mr. Boone. But I expect yeah, yeah. a dance from you. Oh well, I'm I'm a funky turtle man myself, but uh, I'm into it. Right. Um, I'm just gonna go grab news from the cellar. All right. Well, gonna... news. Um, that's a great story. Yeah, and I mean that last bit. That was like when I got, you know, when I. We don't. We we shouldn't end it on there on that spot. I mean, that was when I thought she betrayed me. You know, so. There's a news. So you you down here? Yep. Oh, news! We're getting ready to head out and get ready for the party. Wait, party? Uh, yeah. Apparently, there's a party happening here. Don't we need to talk to what like, you know, the Quacken Sunken Ward fella before we head out? I have a feeling we might meet him there, and my mom said that they needed to get ready for it as well. I, oh man, if that's the case, I gotta see this. A quacking walking on ground? Oh man, that would be really awkward looking. But like, what if it was just like swimming in the air? He's, just at like surface level? Tentacles and he's looking all pathetic, just kind of like a, was it over the ground. Just like a bleh. I'm the sunken ward. Look at me <laughs> as I flop around because I'm useless out of the water. <laughs> That's what you think. And Come on, this. You all hear this. <laughs> everyone hears a loud gonging bell coming from the center of town. Wherever you are on this, in the city, you can hear that gonging bell. Can't hear it ringing. Sorry, Kim. There we. <laughs> Let me just go grab my cowbell. And um, got a fever. People just start milling about the streets, p rushing past Ash and Leah. Oh, sorry, sir. No problem. I'm gonna head outside and try to locate where the bell is coming from. S center of town. <laughs> You sit right behind her. Um, and in Papa Bondi's tent, Papa Bondi turns to Henry. Oh, will you be going to the party? Um, I'm not really one for parties, to be honest. Uh, really, the ability is just a nice night of sitting in and reading a book. <laughs> After all the hectic business we've been through, sounds quite lovely, to be honest. Do you think he would want to go to the party? He does enjoy his alcohol, so most likely. Do you think I should fix the alter the altercations your friends made me do? Leave them. Uh, if he's saying leave them, then I would assume that the opposite of that is the right thing to do. That's generally my rule of thumb. Smart. And he starts, like, restone shaping everything back to normal. Aww. And Cass... <laughs> He's got, like, a chiseled jaw and a butt chin now. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, well, that's fine. And Cass... He, looks... he casts Greater Restoration on Baxter. On little Superman curl. Ending the petrification and poison conditions on Baxter. <laughs> we won the fight! Oh, we won. 
Hello. Did, um, did all of the, oh who is this? I'm Papa Bondi. This is Papa Bondi. That sounds like a dirty novel name. <laughs> anyway, g- good to meet you. Thank you for. I was turning to stone, wasn't I? You were stone. Oh, yes. Generally, the petrification condition, you're totally aware the entire time you're stoned. So this are is you? Interest- yes, you are. I am com- I was completely stoned. <laughs> oh, well then. Uh, there's a party going on, and your friend here, Henry, said you might be interested in the alcohol and frivolities. This is such a change in demeanor between when I was turned to stone and when I was not... I shall accept it. Uh, where are we're we? The, we're oh. on the Morning Shores, where there's a bunch of dead people. You're in the Morning Shores, uh, but you're in a town, a city for the not dead and not alive. The no, no, it's okay. No, no. And he <laughs> thinks of the people that he believes is dead and just starts walking. Okay. You end up at the front door of a tavern called the... Um... He doesn't even he doesn't bear. even pay attention to what it's bear. what the name is. He kicks yeah. the door in and um, walks inside. There's the hobgoblin's kind of packing up to get ready for the party. He's grabbing kegs. Oh, oh, may I help you, sir? You're not who I'm looking for. Move aside, please. Uh, this is my establishment. That's great. Love it. It's good. It's very well done. Victoria, uh, can you sort this piece of shit out of my establishment, please? There it is. Hello? Hello? And coming up from behind the kitchen, you see Victoria, and she's like, um... Hello? Hello? There's a party. Do you want to go? Back. Back. I, I know. But you... You've been dead. Yeah. You've been. But I thought you were. What? What happened? What happened? Well, Mister. That what portal or whatever you opened led to here, and I was pulled through and died. James did not end up here, though. And while you're talking to her, you hear scratching in your notebook. He, like, he punches it. Okay. He punches it because he's just like... Still going to message you what it's saying. Yeah, that, that's perfect. Because that scratching in his notebook is also in his mind. Mm-hmm. He feels it in his head. She looks at you punching yourself. Um, um, I assume you have questions. I can answer them at the party. You know, I did happen to come across some quite fine drink. Or we can stay here. I, I live here upstairs. We can talk. No, let us join in the revelry. I need to speak with you about certain... Victoria, I'm terribly sorry. Let us enjoy what time we have. Of course, you silly goose. Let's go. And she grabs you. She grabs you. And she just grabs you. For, <laughs> she grabs you forcefully by the arm and just drags you outside. Yeah. Um, and he's gone. And at this point, you're all kind of arriving where the town square has been turned into a massive outdoor carnival with rides and games and food, magic shows, and... You're all, you all kind of just arrive together in the same area. Baxter has not yet arrived, so it's just Noose, Ash, Leah, Eclipse, and Ogden kind of standing together in the central town square. Um, I am taking off my armor in an attempt to look a little bit nicer okay. for the party. 
so I'll adjust my armor class. Okay. Leah's I'm looking good. for Otho. Okay. Uh, you see a little halfling kind of like hanging up like banners and streamers. <laughs> oh, I think that's right. Yes. Yes. Leah's just gonna quietly walk behind him. Like, she can tell it's Otho. Yeah. She's gonna get up close to him and, like, grab his shoulder. Mm -hmm. And she is going to cast Chill Touch. At Otho? What? Why? Because he was, he murdered her, oh, him and yeah, his mom right. murdered her cat. That's right. So she's fucking, Go for he, it. Go for she it. just like. Oh man, and if they're undead, they have like disadvantage or something? Advantage on the attack roll though. Okay, eventually. You guys see this guy hanging up banners, just talking to himself, and then out of nowhere, he's just like, <laughs> chill touches him. Just like Fucking... like she grabs him so like doesn't look like anything. Oh, She's trying okay. to be like yep. subtle. Yep. Uh, news that knows. News is... knows Leia can hold the grudge. <laughs> <laughs> That's a twenty two. So you always want Leia just murk this old halfling. Um, <laughs> roll damage. He does have the stats of a commoner. Anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> anyway, I started blasting. Uh, that's 19 necrotic damage. Uh, he tumbles off the ladder and just crack on the pavement, wide-eyed and dead. Fuck. She just kind of, like, looking over, and she just kind of, like, takes her staff. Everyone, like, looks around in the vicinity, because this, this square is packed with party-goers. They're all just like, what the fuck? Yeah, you could have done he that. He was starting to. Sorry, everyone. He, he was starting to act. Uh, he, he had been acting erratic and confused. Deception and... check. Yep. All right. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> well, that's a natural twenty for a twenty-eight. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, they're like, oh, they're all like, oh, thank goodness, thank you for your service, and they go back to like, they go back to dealing with the party <laughs> stuff, and Otho just laying on the ground. Oh, me. Otho just laying on the ground, just like. They just kind of like kneels next to him, just like, that's for low, you bastard. And the body and like, disintegrates to dust. And he just stands up and she starts looking for her mother. Guys, guys. I immediately leave, just like walk the opposite <laughs> direction. Do not. Oh, I'm, do not, I'm not. Do not fuck with Leah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Nearby, you see a woman walking holding like a pumpkin pie and she's like walking and she comes around the corner where Otho was supposed to be she's like Otho dear hello and she sees you oh hello dear and she kind of like places her hand on her shoulder and just like you'll be seeing him in a moment and catches chill touch on her yeah it's technically a surprise attack so roll advantage <laughs> damn Leah's getting her revenge right here, right you now. You won't be seeing him in a moment. This is the afterlife. Twenty-six. Roll damage. Roll damage. Oh they have like four hit points. <laughs> yeah, commoners. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> they're not even like low-level druids. Seventeen no, necrotic they damage. They murdered her cat. They're not great people. All right. She's just like holding the pumpkin pie. And she just disintegrates into dust, and the pie just falls face down. Action. Just... Dexterity check. Nah. Dexterity. Oh, if you want to catch the pie, go go for dexterity. Yeah, do it, buddy. Can, can I help him and just like shove him down yeah. to give him a? Yeah, she'll push me. All right. No, she'll give him. A, she'll give him the him. most, the most, like, assertive butt tap to get it just okay. yeah. right enough. <laughs> make a Ow. maybe, maybe lower back. Ogden. Ogden. <laughs> dexterity saving throw with advantage. Okay. Well, I just rolled a three to, for a five. If she if she if she did slap my butt, oh, that's an eleven. Ah, you hit the hole. So, oh, and you catch the pie, but you fumble it and toss it into the crowd. Uh, I'm gonna try to catch it. It's 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 gone. It's it's flying into the crowd. Free pie. And it just smashes. Sm actually, you know what? Ash, as you're walking away, make a dexterity saving throw. You, you cannot see the source of this. Oh. Uh. 
I love wow, I'm rolling good tonight. Off. 22. You're just walking Ooh, in damn. a pie face plants onto the pavement beside you. Just Can I try and catch it? It's on the ground beside yeah. you. Oh, okay. Right. I can't. Like, add, so I just... But who, who's throwing <laughs> pies? Who's throwing the handles? No. What? Who's what? It's a Kung Fu Hustle joke, everyone. Uh, oh, 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 there it is. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Justin <laughs> screaming into the void. Ah! <laughs> I'm used to reading those lines, not hearing them. Justin is name. us when oh, we yes. were trying to make Avatar references before he saw yep. the show. Yep. Um, so yeah, Leah Alliance just killed. Roar. Now you know. Those, all of you just saw Leah. Well, kill her parents. And now, you still don't know what happens to people who die here, though, if they're dead. Die in real life. If you die in the underworld, you die in real life. But everyone's, like, kind of back to the party. They think, they're like, oh, was she turning to? We generally notice it's, uh, it's, yes. been, it's yes. been connected to family units. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you for uh, the service. Uh, and mm -hmm. You're go welcome. Back, go back no to charge. Party. No charge. Did her mom turn to dust? Yep. Yeah. She's just like talking to Lo, just like, that's for you, hun. Just like. So, are you content with your revenge? We won't expect any more piles of dust in the near future? No, I, I would say, you know, we're good, Eclipse. Great, great. Um, let's, uh, let's. I got my cat back, my parents uh -huh. are dead, everything's good now. Lexi's okay. Everything's good. Well, now let's have some fun. You guys hear someone clear their throat up on like this nearby stage. It's kind of a rounder looking man, bald. A Peter almost. Uh <laughs> Peter Monsoza. Uh some of you would recognize him. He's like, Welcome to the party, everyone. Hey Pete. I am Peter, as you all know. News is just like, worship of the Storm Ward, otherwise known as the Douchebag. It was actually the Storm Father, Mr. Heckler, so if you're gonna heckle, you should probably get your facts straight. Um, Free Bird! Free Bird! <laughs> also, I didn't know the Storm Father was evil. Guess what he was? He's gonna cast silence over in that area. So. He possessed your. Bro <laughs> yeah, now you're all silenced over in that area. <laughs> I'd like you all to enjoy the party. Uh, we have lots of food here. My family has supplied the drinks. My brother Wolfgang is operating the fighting pits if anyone wants to wrestle or fight. Um, <laughs> what else? That's about it. Just have fun. And everything. Uh, I, I just want to note that I tied the corsage in a buttonhole. Because I've never had a corsage before. Okay. So, like, on the collar, like, one of the higher buttonholes of my shirt, I've just, like, looped oh. it in. So, we're, yeah, we're both, we're both boutonnieering. And then, uh, Peter, <laughs> Peter, Peter ends the silent hey. spell and walks off stage. And a band on stage starts to play. A bunch of weird-looking bards, uh, like, playing, like, accordions and drums and stuff. Um, and Ash, you feel someone touch you on the back of your shoulder. It's your mother. Hi, Mom! Hello, dearie. How you doing? Oh, you know... Aside from being dead, I'm okay. Yeah, what, what happened there? Some cat man came to where we were hiding and killed myself and Peter. Well, he's dead now, so that's good. Oh, good. Fuck that guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck that guy. He's dead. He's very dead. How are you doing? Alive still. That's good. Mm-hmm. I'm still not back with your father, even though we're here. Oh, he... Oh, wait. Is he here? He is. I thought he was with me. Might be a projection, but he's here. Oh, do I just, like, yank him from here whenever I use him? Sometimes, that... he, sometimes, he, sometimes he disappears. One time he was in the middle of a con- selling someone wine and he just, poof, vanished. 
<laughs> Come here, Dad. <laughs> just grab him from it. the morning show and just shove him in front of a tax. That makes me so much it. happier. He always comes he, back full of always, like arrows. He or always something. comes back not looking so great. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I need to remember to use that more often now. But yeah. All right, we call this one. It's actually uh, really crisp. What? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, just, I do it every round. He just keeps every six seconds. He just keeps going back and forth. <laughs> Punk, <laughs> stab, arrow. <laughs> but uh, oh, you wanted three cases of the golden. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it is. It's good to see you, my boy. It's good to see you too, mom. Did you want to see your father? I actually see him pretty regularly. I also call him up to taunt him sometimes, so... That's fun. Yeah, yeah. What about Wolfgang? <laughs> Do you want to see Wolfgang? I've heard he was possessed, so he I was. think... I think he and I should probably talk. He's running the wrestling pits, or the fighting pits right now. For, like, yeah, for yeah, this yeah. party. If everyone wants to, like, get... wants to fight. Apparently it's mud fighting. Okay, I honestly I don't think it'd be fair if I joined in, so I'll I'll, I'll go talk to you. You should match. join in. Do it. Uh, I I I've won the only wrestling match I need to today. Oh, did you see Ian, that? Ian, through the ghost of your mother, is trying to get you to join the fight. Did you see? Did you see Dustin? Yeah, yeah, I did. How'd that go? Better than I thought. He talks about you all the time. Does he? All the time. You know, I thought he'd be mad at me. I don't think he is. Yeah, somehow that kind of makes it worse. Did Papa Bandai tell you what his gift to you and your friends is? The, the, what Papa Bandai's gift is? Yes, when you want to leave. No. Do you want me to tell you what it is? Yeah, sure. Okay, come on, let's go find somewhere secret. Oh, okay, alright. And she wanders away. Okay, follow after my mama. Ogden, I'm sorry, I swear, I was aiming for the small of your back, I didn't mean to get that low. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm taller than most people think, I was, I, I will try to be more clenched. Oh, hey, Who sir. Oh, <laughs> a fellow elf. And you see this female high elf walk over with long brown hair, piercings, tattoos, like a long red dress with like armor kind of plated all over it. What's your name? Wow. That's who I see? Yeah, she's walking over to you in Eclipse. What's your name? Uh, Ogden Boone, man of leisure, seeker of treasure. How's it going? Sturdy gonna, handshake. Not like oh, I'm gonna nothing, kind nothing of tender. Oh, I stand like, next to Ogden. I like a strong man. Oh. This just is, gets real. Instantly limp. <laughs> just. Oh, okay. I'm going to elbow with the rest Ogden in the side. Ah! Okay. Oh, is this your best friend? My best friend? What? Hold on. What's your read? You're coming on strong. What's your What's your deal? I think you're handsome. Who are you? And I want to show you a new adventure. I uh, okay. Back. You, you know what? Beep beep beep. Back that truck truck up. I don't know your name. I don't know who you are. I don't like. I don't like it. I don't like this. And the strongest. figure suddenly out of nowhere shrinks to about goblin height, and it's Grump going. Ha 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 ha! And he runs away. Grump. I want to try and kick. I want to try and give him a, a, a little a butt, like a soccer <laughs> opportunity butt. Opportunity attack. All right. Yeah. Opportunity attack. Make an attack roll. Can I? Can I use the health action? Yeah. Sure. Advantage. <laughs> uh. So I haven't done a melee attack ever. How do those work? It's plus your strength modifier. God. Why didn't I hit him with Peggy? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have Peggy out. I was, I'm going for a kick. So, I guess... I guess that's a 10. Ooh, mm -hmm. doesn't hit. He gets away. He's like, ha ha you still get hit for shit! And then... God, I want to cast whole person on him. He disappears into a crowd. It's not worth it, Ogden. Um, yeah. Let him... It's alright, it's alright. Um, it's just a prank. Ash, you get led to this kind of... Near like a food stall uh, but no one's working the food stall right now and she's like um do you have an idea what the gift might be before I tell you no I think he said something about it being able to send us back wherever yeah 
Uh, he plans on giving you these artifacts called soul gems. Oh, what's that? Uh, it so we can't pass over. None of us can. His whole thing is he'll let you all bring one person back to the other side to live again. Oh. Oh, just one. And I think that's the thing, yeah. Unfortunately. Or more, who oh. knows? Okay. And 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 I'm guessing like resurrection magic or something doesn't doesn't wouldn't work. Not because because we're, we're technically not dead. Right. Or alive, but we did die, but we didn't technically make the trip. If that makes sense. Mm hmm. Your ancestor seems to technically, I think, be part of the cause here. My aunt. He's still around? Well, his soul got, as the kids say, yeeted back here. <laughs> so, it, so he's here somewhere. Yes, in this settlement. Because he was Hold human. Because he's human. Humanoids are the only ones that come here. So he's here somewhere. Oh, he's here here. Somewhere, yes. We think oh. He's been hiding us from the family for quite some time. We've been trying to find him. Uh-huh. Tell me, uh, hmm. I haven't noticed the thing where if you just think about someone, you'll, like, find your way to them yet? No. Okay. Okay, well, I know what I'm doing with my evening. Well, just don't get into any trouble. I, whatever trouble I get into will be worth it, Mom. All right, well, have fun. Thanks. It's good, to, good, uh, good, good to see you. It's good to see you as well. Please keep it up with your father. That is a comfort knowing what he did. I, on, I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna remember to use it more. I'm gonna use it. Uh, I think I'm gonna use it for. I'll find excuses to use it even when I don't need to. All right, and she kisses you on the forehead. I'm gonna go back to the group. Okay. Um. Yeah, what's the group doing? Leah's um, looking for Lexi. Okay. Uh, chicken dancing, I assume. Icarus appears. <laughs> hey, brother. Uh, I'm just watching oh, Ogden yeah. and Icarus dance. But nobody can hear what Icarus says because this is not the fate wall. So just everyone just hears. Hoo, hoo. <laughs> Noose is going to throw a hail mary and try to think about the idea of his parents. Okay. Uh, and Baxter is wanting to say something to Victoria. Okay. Um, so, Victoria... Look at actually Victoria last, I think. Because um, that'd be a good thing to end on. Um, so, Noose, you find yourself being pulled to the food stalls. Okay. You guys see news kind of just scurry off, just... And news, you get to this food stall, and you see a whole pig, but the pig has like eight legs and wings, and it's roasting on a spit. And there, food materials. And there's one goblin kind of like rotating it, and another mm -hmm. goblin's kind of like cutting pieces of meat off. And the male goblin kind of has this wispy little, um, like wispy, like long hair tied into a ponytail. It's kind of whitish gray, wrinkled, mm -hmm. same kind of goat like eyes as you, mm -hmm. same mangled mouth, um, same floppy <laughs> yeah. ears. And he's just going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cut it right there. Get a leg. One of the would legs. You say that, would you say that that pig is being spit-roasted, Justin? It is being spit-roasted by two goblins. Um, yeah, cut off its legs. Yes, the legs. Customers really like the legs. And the goblin underneath its cutting, she has kind of like a bonnet on over her hair. 
to kind of protect it from grease. Mm -hmm, Same mm -hmm. goat-like eyes. Uh, actually, no, a little bit different. Um, and she's wearing just a mishmash, like what looks like just pig hide for clothes, and so is he, and they're like cutting the pig apart, and they go, yeah, yeah, the legs. Yeah, the dark meat is the most flavorful. Oh, customer, hello. Hi. I, Hello. yeah, sorry, I, I'm new here, and I kind of got the idea that if I thought of something, the path would be opened. That's how it works here, yeah. Uh, I, you might not know me because... I never had a name. Oh, that's sad. All goblins have names. Except for the ones that were too young to get one. That's not true. We named ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well... Yeah, well, what do you, what, what's your name? What do they call you? You straightens up. He takes a deep breath, holds himself firm, says, My name is Noose. Ooh, that's a good name. It is a name that I gave myself. Oh, well, it's good, if that makes you feel any better. It is a name that I gave myself after I died. Oh, you died. We died, too. How'd you die? I and, was hung. And, oh, and the little, the woman goblin says, Quit milk. That's not nice. Don't ask him how he died. He's a freshie. Oh, sorry. I'm not a freshie. Yeah, you're a living soul here. Well, I mean, like, I'm not fresh. We dead. No, no, no. Freshy means fresh meat here. Oh. Yeah. Who hung you? Don't ask him that. It doesn't matter anymore. It actually never mattered. I thought it did, but it doesn't. Um. The Catalyst of Iron. Oh, yeah, them. They came to our island all the time looking for uh, goblins to turn into things. They said goblins were easy to turn into other things. They killed yeah. me. They killed me and uh, uh, be off here. Hi. Hi. I like your mm -hmm. eyes. They're kind of like mine. You know, yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I me? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Why, why am I me? <laughs> why, why am I me? And then no one else is like me. <laughs> and he just starts sobbing. Ah. <laughs> uh. And the one that has the goat eyes, goat eyes kind of hops off his little crate that he's standing on and waddles over, the same kind of like pitter-patter you make when you walk. You want a hug? I would want a hug. Okay. And he hugs you. And he hugs back. You smell like me. <laughs> yup. And he kind of steps back a little bit and his eyes go wide. Wider than they could, they look like they could go. Oh. <gasps> Yeah. And the the woman goblin's like, what is it? Cray milk, what is it? And she waddles over too and she sniffs you. Oh, yes. And she hugs you too. Hey. Why am I me? I don't know. I don't know either. Is this, is this, is it, 
Is this Keysunk? Keys? I don't know. You... Hold on! And, uh, the male goblin kind of scurries back to the stall, opens up a chest, and a bunch of, like, animal hides kind of just roll out and organs. He's like, oh, sorry about the mess! And pulls out this little shitty-looking pendant <laughs> and waddles <laughs> over and opens it up. He's like, is this you? And he points to these two little goblins, much younger, like, 12 years younger, and um, they're holding a newborn goblin that has, like, a little tuft of yellow hair like you have. This you? Yeah, no, that seems like it's me. Oh. You want food? We have lots. Free. Food sounds good right now. Okay. And they start cutting off chunks of meat. And they put on a plate. Have you been happy? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little shaky. Yeah. It's a little shaky. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he, he digs in. Okay. So, do you want us to call you Newts? It's a good name. Good goblin name. You know, I haven't really known anything else. Okay, Noose. That's a good name, though. I'm sorry, though. That other, that other name, I already forgot it. That's but okay. But it seemed like it was a lot of heart. No, we forgot, too. It's okay. Keysonk? Yeah, Keysonk. But. It's okay. You're uh, our son. Wow. I want, I want to talk with you more. Okay. And Noose pulls out like all of the shit that he's been up to, okay. <laughs> like everything that he's sewn together, everything that he's like ever worked on ever, and he's just trying to like show it off as like everything he's ever like the entirety of his life, he is painting as a tapestry of sewn together flesh. Okay. Um, meanwhile, in the square where Eclipse and Ogden are, the band starts to play slower music, and you can see couples getting together, and they start dancing. You see Grump dancing with just a broom with a bucket on its head, and there's actually a face painted on it, and he's dancing with it. Uh, numerous other people are dancing that you've recognized in town. Um... We're kind of by ourselves out here. Oh, no, no, no. We're not by ourselves. we got to find your parents and make sure that you feel especially awkward. <laughs> you see you see Durza and, uh, and Jasper dancing nearby. Uh, shall we dance over and uh, continue doing that? We could also... I think with uh, our powers combined, we can make ourselves scarce if you want. I think maybe one dance might be okay. Right, well, any time. You just say the word and we'll get out of here. And I, I would have hated... I really, uh, I'll be honest, I didn't, I didn't love losing you in that fight. That was awful. Uh, well, uh... You haven't lost me yet? Why Don't should it start now? I don't intend to. Also, the, uh, the, 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 the code word for let's go and get out of here. Yeah. Orange Blossom. <laughs> All right. Super casual. All right. Sh shall we dance through the crowd to over to them? Uh, my lady. My lord. All right. <laughs> you start you waltzing both, over you, bo that. you both start dancing and out on coming onto the stage 
is this massive minotaur not wearing a shirt his body covered in iron rings and he goes I hope everybody's enjoying the dance this one's this a little piece I wrote yeah. when I was a pirate and the iron bull and his band start playing music um, you know, all you know, people in the corner dancing. Lexi finds you, Leah, and she's like, "Do you want to dance?" Of course. She picks you up and just starts swinging you around, and Lowe's just like, "Meow." Um, You're safe. Little bells like ding, ling, ling. Um, and Ash, uh, You hear the music. You hear a familiar voice of the Iron Bull in the distance. Um, but what is Ash thinking about before we end this session here tonight very soon? Well, Ash is trying to find uh, people in the party so he can figure out. He, he, can, he can get them to brainstorm where he can find okay. the Storm Fathers so he can go kick his ass. All right. So you think about the, the par your, your, your friends and you find yourself back in the town square. Where there's a dance happening. People are dancing. You see Ogden and Eclipse are dancing towards her parents. Uh, you see Leah. Very silly. Yeah. Like, we're not taking it yeah. serious at all. Uh, you see Leah dancing with Lexi. You see the Iron Bull on stage with some of the pirates that used to travel with, like Michael and all of them. They're on stage. The ones that died during uh. the explosion. They're, like, playing the music. Iron Bull sees you for a second and just nods at you. Would he even recognize me because I have the wrong face on? Oh, that's right. He wouldn't. Uh, so he's just still playing. He's singing. Throat singing. Um... And you, and you find yourself there where all your friends are, just dancing. Noose isn't there, uh, but you see Baxter wandering somewhere with that Victoria woman from the tavern. Um, and Dustin's kind of sitting nearby, drinking from a bottle of wine on a bench by himself. All right, seeing that everybody's having a good time, I figure I can, it can wait. So I'm just gonna go for a walk, clear my head. Uh, and think about what I'm gonna do to the Stormfather when I find him. Okay. You just... I don't. I don't know if that counts as thinking about him for the purposes, but okay. You just start wandering. You spend the next hour or so wandering the streets. You don't run into him or anything. But you just have visions of what you're gonna do to him when you see him. Um, and you do hear footsteps behind you approaching. Not like solid, firm footsteps. Like like the person stumbles a little bit. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going there, Gethard? How are you feeling? Uh, violent. Um, I how it. about you? Oh, you know, I'm just wandering around trying to find a purpose here. Yeah. I found out that when I leave, because I can leave, I'm not, I'm not staying here forever. Oh, I don't expect you to. I found out that when I can leave, when I leave, I think I can bring someone back with me. Are you choosing your mom? That would make sense. <sighs> well, I was figuring I would go in a first come first serve order, so whoever got here first. <laughs> that makes sense. Make it a competition. Why not? Well, I meant whoever got to the morning shores first. Oh. Well, that would have been me then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would have. Why me? Like, why not your family? Why not your mom? I, I get why not your dad. That guy's a fucking prick, but... Yeah, turns out I actually can take him away. I, I do frequently, oh. but only for temporarily. That's fun. You should fuck with him when he's taking a shit or something. I, do you guys... Do people shit here? Anyway, we're still like, We still function. It's really weird. Oh, okay, okay. It'd be funny. Like, like in battle, and you bring him in, and he's fucking taking a half... In the midst of taking a dump, and he just shits on the combat floor. I don't know if I can do that intentionally, but I'll think about it. It'd be pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Why me, though? Like, why not your family? Because... Well, for one, they all have each other. Oh, and yeah. if I brought them back, I would have to pick one of them. That's true. And if I'm gonna bring if I'm gonna bring one of them back, I want to bring all of them back. And I know you said it's not my fault, but I blame myself for you being here. 
Oh, it's not your fault at all. It's the fucking Storm Daddy or whatever his fucking name is. Yeah, speaking of, I'm he's apparently here. Oh fuck, is he? Yeah, that's what my mom said. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to find him so I can kick his ass. Oh, do you want help? Yeah, yeah, that sounds nice. Fuck yeah. He won't have any. He won't have any of his powers here. He'll be fucking like a little wimpy sausage. So. Yeah, no, I was figuring this isn't gonna be a fight. We're gonna, we're just gonna kick his teeth in and just, just some good old fashioned percussive therapy. Works for me. It's a fucking date there, Gerhard. Sounds good. It's a date. Let's go find this fucker. Yeah, let's let's look for him. I don't he's know like, where he's hiding. I'm drunk as fuck though. Yeah, let's let's sober you up. Let's get you some water. Oh yeah, okay. And you guys, you guys just sort of like wander off. Mm -hmm. um, Baxter, where are you? Where would you like to go with Victoria? Somewhere private? Somewhere not private? You're muted. You're muted. Baxter I'm... feels like the safest place would be with a whole bunch of other people around considering the history. Okay. So she leads you to where everybody's dancing. Yeah. And then she starts, she gets to the dance floor. You guys, those of you there, see Baxter arrive with this rather pretty looking human female the one you met at the tavern those of you, few of you did the bubbly one she holds out a hand to Baxter and regardless of the music that is playing he waltzes okay with her she follows and as they are going around spinning because as Baxter does he does a lot of spins when he waltzes <laughs> When he's leading, uh, he says, I'm, s I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Eh, it's fine. Stop apologizing, you silly goose. At the risk of my own sanity, I have to know what happened um well james and i got pulled through that portal something happened to james i didn't make out much when he was pulled through i made up little details he changed when he got pulled through myself i just died instantly it was almost as if i was meant to die so this being could like, I wasn't good enough, but James was. So it took James and then disposed Don't of ever him. think that. Don't. Oh! Don't ever think that you were never good enough. I never did, but this entity wanted James more than it wanted me, so it killed me and sent me here, and then it took James as a vessel, apparently. That's you were. What I saw. You were the best. I know. Um. I heard a name, though, when this entity took James. When it turned into James, or when James turned into it, it's, it, it said a name. What name? I'm trying to remember. It's fine, take your time. Nagawe. We have, we have all night. No. Nagawe. No. That's what it was. No! <laughs> And that's where we're going to end this session for the week. Oh! I get the impression that was something traumatizing. Damn. I, mm, I'm not going to say it until we're not live anymore. <laughs> but I have a theory. But thank you all for joining us on that. I think it was a little long, but uh, I wanted to get everyone to have their own little thing. I wanted everyone to get their own little backstory stuff touched on. So, boom. <laughs> Uh, so join us next Wednesday to see how this all culminates. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed it. I hope my players enjoyed what I gave them. I'm going to sit on most of this shit for so long. Dude, Justin, so much. Thank you. So, 
good night, everybody. Some of it across two campaigns. That's some of it is, yeah. So, good night, everybody. We'll see you all here next week.